Uh, are we live? <gasps> Hooray! We are live, I think. I think. Are we? Are we? Hello? Doop, doop, doop. Is this thing on? Okay. So. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Let me get the chat open on my phone. So basically, tonight at 9.30, the main event, the big... The big kahuna. Let me switch to this. What? I'm the star of the show. Go to go get the shirt. I'm I just started streaming. Who You're the ruining the show. Who the fuck starts a stream like that? I just sat down. Um, I completely. Oh yeah, I like completely lost my train of thought. I had no idea what I was doing. See, one of the skills you learn on a stream is you gotta, you gotta expect the unexpected. You gotta be ready for unpredictability. Right? <laughs> Are you good? Bitch! <laughs> fuck you! I have very instable emotions. Is this funny? <laughs> is this funny? I don't know. I think it's silly. You should do a silly face. Do all F four. That's so funny. I won't I'm do sure that. you don't know what that I does won't. at all. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll let you do the thingy. Go ahead, I'll let you bit all of F4. <laughs> Go ahead, Jim. Go ahead, you can do it yourself. Go ahead, Jim. Go ahead. Do you have a Windows key? No, you don't have a Windows key on your keyboard. Oh my god. Well, this is the Windows key. In functionality. Oh no, there's one right there. Oh, okay. So... Oh, Hang on. Where, where are you going? I'm Okay, so anyway, back to the stream. Um, so my boyfriend, Drake Dragsaw, who you just saw, he left. He's probably going to come back, but I'm going to try to get something in before he comes back. Um, he's going to be debating Joseph Alexander Simpson tonight on Joseph Alexander Simpson uh, YouTube channel. Um... Now, this is the Joseph Alexander Simpson YouTube channel. Now, Joseph Alexander Simpson, I've only... Oh, Sorry, he's I'm back. I'm following up on... He's okay. back. So share your screen. Okay, sh no, oh, share, share the screen? Share your screen. Okay, I, want good. To, I want everyone to see this a lot. And I promise this isn't going to fuck anything up. I actually do promise. I'm, I'm everything. Okay, what do you want me to do? Okay, hit Control, Win, Alt, Shift, and then L. Why? It's so fucking stupid. What does it do? It doesn't turn off the screen? No, it doesn't do anything. It won't does look, it actually turn off the it screen? It actually really doesn't. It won't look, look me in my eyes. It won't do anything that fucks anything up. It's okay. so stupid. Control, win. If this fucks it up, I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Control, win, alt. Putting so much shift, trust in you. And then L. What? <laughs> Why? Why? Why is that? Why is that? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I was gonna start the 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 stream off with puppies, but then it, when I searched puppy, it said juvenile dog, and that made me laugh. <laughs> you guys want to look at some juvenile dogs? I got some ju ju juvenile kittens of my own. I wish I wish I had a juvenile dog. Look at him. He fits into cup cup dog. Look at him. Oh look, he looks like an embryo. Ah. Huh. Embryo. So many embryos. So pretty. This looks like my dog at my parents' house. My dog's name is Jimmy. Cup. Okay. Anyway. Joseph Alexander Simpson! He is a content creator with the largest air quotes you've ever seen. Even though I didn't do them. Um, he has a series called 52 Weeks. Where he uploads one video every week for 52 weeks. He has... I think 23 days left, 22 days left or something like that. And he has about 14 episodes to make up. So I hope he can do it. Um, he also has 365, which is another series he's doing at the same time as 52 weeks. But, but, but his solution for the 52 weeks and 365 is just to upload a video and then put the 52 weeks and 360 it's a lot of weird shit and he also does reaction videos he's doing like 
film whatever reviews but they sound like like an elementary school let me show you this like an elementary school kid that was like giving given a prompt was like write an essay about cobra kai season one and he says some dumb shit like the choreography is very nice and the characters add a lot of good uh talking into the show capturing the this one part oh yeah and like 90 percent of it is just fucking clips from the show like unaltered except for this weird ass filter he's put over it for some reason like yeah bro this is a review if you accumulated this this part johnny star student miguel diaz and his son robbie with a total of 10 episodes this season not only with the with a turtle of 10 episodes a turtle of 10 episodes guys the turtle has landed back familiar faces but it also introduces new characters and new conflicts <laughs> it, it has familiar faces but also adds new characters with new conflict you could say this about literally any piece of media it had a good setting and the story was good and the characters bring a lot of good stuff to the show <laughs> Its visuals cap this series nails its visuals capturing the nostalgic feel of the original movies while adding a modern play. Oh. So okay, so you're reviewing a television series that is a spiritual successor um, sequel to a previously established IP. What are you gonna do? Well, um, the, it brings back the old IP but with a new twist. job of complementing the scenes and enhancing the overall experience enhancing the overall anyway that's not what i wanted to watch i was just just his review his like where is the media analysis like 90 percent of that we, we gotta go back We're, put it on the replay um like 90 percent of this is just fucking um he's just like kind of vaguely gesturing at the show but it's not media analysis and like let me let me do this. Okay, so okay, so forty two seconds. Okay, okay, so one fifty eight. I'll do this on my own time. I I just wanted to know how much. But look at all this. Like if I scrub through, like most of it, like you compare, he's like one frame. Okay, that was a lot. But he's like one frame compared to like. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, dude, talk over it. You're not supposed to. <laughs> this is like you know how like other film reviewers like YMS or uh, Ralph the Movie Maker, rest in peace, or um, Quentin Re or any other like reviewer that reviews like television content or whatever usually they'll have the clip and they'll talk over it you know they'll do both at the same time this guy he's he's commentating and then showing clips like watch rekindling his old rivalry with daniel portrayed by ralph machi for we the all valley committee of 1985 and then it goes and then and then watch time ban on cobra kai and then it just keeps going and, -like and, and, and it keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going it keeps going and it, ke it keeps going right but here's the crazy part right it keeps going and it just it just goes and he's not saying anything or breaking it up in any kind of way it's at this point it's completely unrelated to what whatever he was talking about or whatever big point he was trying to make um usually usually you would play content after you said something to to like to expand on your point like you don't want to use more content than is necessary to critique it right you need enough for people to know what you're talking about specifically for people to know what the show even is and um just just for an idea of what the show is you're not supposed to show entire scenes of the show and then he does his commentary and then for like a for like 10 seconds and then he goes back to the, the clip and it just keeps going and going so <laughs> like he can't i don't know like this is not a Cobra Kai season one review. This is Cobra Kai season run one broken up. You know those memes where it's like silence occasionally broken up by a Pikmin sound effect or whatever. This is like Cobra Kai season one um, occasionally interrupted by Xander giving zero media analysis. <laughs> 
Okay, this is the video I wanted to watch. So, this is one of Xander's most recent videos. And, um, I feel like this is one of his most, like... I'm not really sure how to describe this. But I feel like it's the first time where... I don't really know how to... I don't, look at... Bro, I don't even know how to introduce... Just watch. Thank you for joining me today. I like this, though. Bull cut boy goes missing. <laughs> Bull cut boy goes missing on Hawkins News. Hawkins News. It's not like HN or anything. It's Hawkins News. Like, that's the that's the logo that they put. <laughs> Eyewitness News. Our top story tonight is a story about a boy named Will here in Hawkins who has gone missing. Hmm. Joining us today is his... Oh, and this is like a Stranger Things parody, which I've never really seen Stranger Things. But if it's good enough satire, it should be at least a little funny without um, having watched Stranger Things. So let's let's watch this and see if I, as a non-Stranger Fans um, person, non-Stranger Things fan, <laughs> let's see if I could relate or find anything um, interesting about this. Okay? Okay. Brother, Jonathan. Yeah, uh... Looking for Will. Totally different character, but he's wearing the exact same shirt. I kind of like that. That's a funny bit. Looking for a Will. A Will. A Will to Will. Get it? Get it. Guys, get it. Because his name is Will. And he doesn't have a Will. To live. I need to get a soundboard. Would have been funny to put like a laughing or whatever. Yeah, so that's... Yeah. A will to live. Nobody's ever made this joke before. You're the first one. Steve threw my camera. Steve threw my camera out. Oh yeah, that's Steven throwing out cameras. Ugh. Always, always that with that boy. I just to Who? What is he talking about? Like I've never seen the show, but I can tell that he's just like naming random, I guess, like plot points from the show. This is like if I made Mario, and I was like, Ah, Mamma Mia, I cannot find my brother. I wish I had the pizza and the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> or like if I was Sonic, and I was like, Hey, man, I eat chili dogs. I really could go for a chili dog right now. And I want a, a ring. A... <laughs> like, that's the level. Like, that's... Okay. I imagine he's doing what I did before Stranger Things. <laughs> Like, is it funny to just, like, name character traits and vague plot points? Is there no audio here? Hopper, you gotta help me. Oh, wait, what did that say? I don't remember this text being here. What's up? So I'm on the phone with him right now, alright? Okay, hold on, hold Pause on. That. Lore, lore, in real time, breaking news. I'm What's on up? the phone with him right now. Pull up the screen. Pull up, pull up the two images I sent you. I don't um, want to open the Discord with the... Let me, yeah, just do that. Let me be safe. Open them in two different windows. Okay, so open one of those. They're both the same. I sent them by accident. O open them. Open, in just open in browser. Click open in browser. It'll open it in that. Okay. And, and then the which one? Open either one of the top ones because they're both the same. Okay. Show this one first. Okay. So this is from a stream yesterday. Yeah. You look at that. That's his um. This is his uh storyboard. You know, shirt where he shows the spirit. Right. You can right. even see. Can't really see that well, but this is the spirit. You can check the original stream. Right. And this is from today. <laughs> and then I confront him about this, and he says, "No, it's not the same shirt." And I'm, like, I'm looking at it. Wait, let's line up. What's that? Like a T L? This is the the yep, the yep. the the. Yep. Yeah, that's the same shirt. <laughs> that's one hundred percent the same shirt. He's wearing the same glasses too. Anyway. Um, okay, back to the Stranger Things. So, um, I'm recording my screen, right? Sorry, I'm, like, horrified. If Stranger Things was real, and I starred in and directed it, this font is fucking me up. And m Is that an M? Is that, unironically, an M? It, I'll give him a benefit of doubt and say that it's fucked up. AMD, it was improv- No, because that's the same- Cause this is this is the exact same. Like these two are the same. <laughs> and it was improvised. <laughs> nice. Hopper, you gotta help me. You gotta help me find my boy. They make fun of him. He's get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Not like the rest of them. 
They call him a That's so funny. Do you think he actually said it? Do you think he really went hard on it? He brought up the blur of the mouth way before he even thought about saying it. Well, Joyce, is he? That's like a, that's not even his bit. That's, um, I think it's Chris Rock. I can't remember if it's Chris Rock or Dave Chappelle, but one of them, one of them, um, they did a bit. It might have been, I can't remember which one. Airline removes old. I don't remember who it was. I wish I had a bigger audience so I could just ask and I would get the answer immediately. But there was another comedian who did a bit. Maybe it wasn't Chris Rock. Anybody can act like a fag. And I'm like, don't speak. Oh, the shit's over. What the fuck is happening to this? No Girl, ain't no bananas. And that lights get ready to the lights about television they have and if you're doing your job what you get in it she said, runs to the park I said, well, well, why am i here she said because david there's no way i said all right fuck it. is it why is it that i can't find it but there's a hundred percent definitely it's in my brain i know that this happened i don't know what comedian it was but had the same the same exact joke is he where he's like Everyone calls him a fa faggot, and the other one's like, well, is he a faggot? <laughs> Which is a funny joke, but not when it's delivered by Joseph Alexander Simpson. Oh no, she's gonna do it! L! L. <laughs> I like that! I like that bit where you could see, like, he, he's read the script, so he looks down and he's like, where's my next line? Like, watch. You see that? Where he does the little, like... He's like, he's like... He's like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Hold on. <laughs> Same shirt. So he didn't even bother to fucking wear any different shirts or do any different voices. Like, anytime he changes between, like, this is all, this is 100% definitely all, like, recorded. Didn't he, he had a different shirt for the other bit, though, didn't he? Oh, no, he didn't. No, no, he is wearing the exact same shirt. Yeah, whatever. Um, you could tell that this was all one piece of, like, continuous footage of him. Oh, boy. Because he's wearing the same outfit in all of these bits. And watch this. This is the funniest joke. I think it is. Get it? Legitimately. Cause he went poopy on the toilet. The one time he's like made a joke. I uh, I greeted the Pepsi for him so that way he wouldn't have to deal with advertising concerns. But just in case. <laughs> Rursi? What is that? I was worried about it. Rur I won't I won't slander him because I asked about it and he said he didn't care. Rates rate Rursi? Why'd you put lines on the E if you were just gonna keep it an E? I don't know. It's it looks like it says right racy. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Anyway, back to this faggot. Oh, I, needed to get I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Don't hurt yourself. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. It's okay. You're not faggot. You're cool. You're epic. We don't want to be too mean. Well! Well! Somewhere else! To live! That would've been good. <laughs> that would've been good. <laughs> What's wrong with me, guys? Aren't I just kind of like a crazy guy? Like, I'm just so silly, guys. Like, <laughs> what's wrong with me? <laughs> I mean, come on. Who comes up with this stuff? <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god.
That's him. That's him. <laughs> Back to the video. And then, and then, and also another bit that he does is okay. So this is the entire video. This is the least. This is like one of the lesser egregious um, examples of this. But this video is a oh, one minute and twenty eight minute. Tw okay, so the full length of the video is two minutes and twenty two seconds. But the video stops at like one thirty, just about. So he has a full, almost a almost a full minute of just outro. And it gets like like look at this look at this okay so I'm gonna zip through it a little bit okay so we have that okay that's for 365 okay and this isn't a 52 weeks video so there's no 52 weeks outro but this is 365 and then here's his name and then his name again and then his name again okay and then his name again right. And then, oh, his name another 300 times, okay? Now, if you would believe, if you could even believe me, this is not the most egregious that it has be, uh, has done. Let's go to a classic. This is one of Drake's favorites. The bike ride. Now, this video, uh, let's get to the, right here, about halfway through the in length of the video, one minute and 30 seconds, just like before, um, outro. And then the outro is a, another like minute and twenty seconds, and and this whole video there's no there's no dialogue, okay. I'm gonna speed through it, but I'm gonna do I, two times. I'm confident that two times will not lose. Okay, watch. We're watching this in two times because it's a very slow video, and it's not worth watching and it's normal. I did I give it a like? My bad. That was my by accident. Let me turn this down. The music in the background, I don't know if it's, it's, if it's, he says he licenses it. I don't know if it's, I guess if I'm cr critiquing it, it doesn't, I don't know. Do I even understand fair use? At least I'm careful. But anyway, like I've, we've been talking this whole time and there hasn't been no dialogue. It's just him riding his bike. Okay. And then, um, now remember this is two times speed, by the way. And he's not, he's not right. You know, now that I have this in two times speed, I've realized that he's not riding that bike very fast. You know what I mean? I think the footage just slowed down. But either way. And then that's it. And then Joseph, you saw that, right? Okay, so. Let's let's list how many times. So, his name, his name. That's two. Three. Joseph Alexander, and then again, four. And then again, five. And then again. So, oh, oh my god, see, I can't, I can't stop the Joseph Alexander Simpson herd. Okay, so that's, what, that's like 100? 200? I don't know. He also... Apparently he made this song with a guy named Grant Newman. And, like, look at this. Sound mixer. Like the one, like the one music track. Colorist. You could just put that with editor. If the editor, the colorist, and the gaffer... I forget what a gaffer is. Let me look it up. I'm not going to pretend like I know. My teachers in school tell me. Okay, so so basically like lighting and set design. Okay, so the colorist and the editor can all be the same thing if Okay, no, the sound mixer, the editor and the colorist. If they're all the same person, you could probably just like consolidate them into one group. And then gaffer, camera operator, you it's all him. He's so he just works so hard. It's all him. Can you believe that he creates this content all on his own by himself? It's crazy. And then it keeps going though. Like this isn't even all the all the names. And then Sean iPhone. Just in case you didn't. And then the fucking video encoder that he like renders the video on. I think. And then his logo. And then a different company's logo. And then the county it was filmed in. And the city it was filmed in. And the park it was filmed in. <laughs> like why? Like what's even the necessity? right what's ha what is happening you know okay but this classic right here the white room we have to watch we have to watch this old classic this classic from jas jazz as it were i'm gonna keep i'm gonna call him jazz from now on because he's here saying his whole fucking name and i know i know how much he likes me saying his full name but i won't do it anymore i won't do it anymore the white room Okay, so the world's lowest PNG image. 
Let's full screen it. I don't know why we're doing this. Here we go. Do I even do I even need to say anything about this? What what is this? He's got so he um this is clearly taken from a video recording and not a photo. He's cut <laughs> bro so bro took a standing image of himself like this <laughs> and and then put it and then and then put it like he cropped himself out very badly into this coffin. Does he think that this can you guys see my mouse? Does he think that this is the the fucking that's not the edge of the the coffin the edge of the coffin is like way over here and this as well like does he not does, what is this what is this and it's like it's clearly different lighting you can see the green haze around him when he's standing in front of a green screen this is my favorite bit watch watch this today a treacherous <laughs> You could see like the, at least he he had the time to color it. Oh, I see. So this is kind of orangish. His fi okay. So his f his filming quality must have been so orange that he had to turn everything else in the scene orange to compensate. And you can see like the the shitty like pixelated crop and like how it's definitely like way enlarged from its original resolution. And then he, with the, still the green haze. Did he think if he put a green background that we wouldn't notice that there's a green haze around his body? Is that what this is? Is that, is that why the back, why, is that why this fucking funeral ceremony is taking place in the back of a damn warehouse? Like, This journey has been a life full of sacrifices and regrets. I also just like that he, um, because the podium has to be straight like this, he has to like kind of put himself at an angle like this. Or at least I, f I guess he thought so. So he's standing just slightly askew. And that just, that's just very silly to me. It's just a little detail I noticed. And I thought you might want to too. Positive and negative moments. No! Cut, sh cut it off! Next bit. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> <He> just, <laughs> just like... Hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it just zooms in. <laughs> Hello, Did Joseph. that digital zoom. Who are you? I am your conscience. I like just back acting here. All these back shots. Xander taking a lot of back shots, if you ask me. This is my favorite line. See, this is pure art. You could, every frame... A painting and every audio wavelength a beautiful score none other by Joseph Alexander Simpson he um <laughs> he said no God no Allah no Muhammad first of all so he's trying to say like different gods from different like in my so this is what I believe I think he was trying to name different gods from different religions he said God which fair enough and then he says Allah which is just God in I believe Arabic and then he says Muhammad which is not a god <laughs> he's a prophet of God and if and Muhammad is part of the same religion that that like 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 culturally like people would say Allah and you know what I'm it's weird it's could, this was all he could come up with he couldn't say he couldn't name any specific gods he just said God God again and then the prophet of God <laughs> It's just very weird. Just something... That line particularly... I don't know. That just I, I like that line a lot. Just, I just really like to get into his head and think, like, what was he thinking when he did this? <laughs> Not that it's easy. There's no way in which all of the religions can truly exist. <laughs> There's no way that all the religions could truly exist. <laughs> He's, like, trying to sound, like, really, like... There's no way that all religions could truly exist. He's like trying to be like, do that like a bad, da, 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 like dramatic voice, but it just comes out like, there's no way that all religions could truly exist. <laughs> the world's worst reverb, by the way. And then it just kind of, oh, whoa, did you, ever, did you see that? 
And then the witch doctor, he told me what to do. He told me, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, walla, walla, bing, bang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. So. <clears throat> Drake Dragsaw. My boyfriend. As well as Joseph Alexander Simpson. They got, they got into a, they got into a little spat. You know, a little, a little, a little bit of drama. You know what I'm saying? Um, a little, a little spat, a little bit of drama. And I thought we would just review part of Drake Dragsaw's video, uh, uploaded October twentieth, uh, yeah, October eighth, twenty twenty two. I thought we'd watch a little bit of this video before getting into uh, the debate where they debate each other. Okay, so this is a good introduction to Xander and a good introduction to Drake. Um, excuse me. Why is it lagging? Hello. Why is that not working? I'm just gonna skip of ahead. People that I probably can't even think of because not that Xander would know this because he does not create content. It takes a lot of people to create a project like this. There's a lot of. Let me make sure I have my camera. I don't know why I have a sneaking suspicion that I should check the uh microphone I'm using. Okay, good. 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 Idea. Cooperation in time. However, he wants to have this idea that. He is solely the most significant funder of the series. He is not. Despite how I foolishly credited him just to compliment his ego, he did not have as significant of a role as he might lead you to believe. Going back a bit, Xander is actually someone I've known for quite a while. We went to the same high school a few years ago, but my first experience with his brand was when he followed me one day on Twitter in the middle of class. Now, from which Twitter oh. page he followed me, I will never know because he has so so many different ones. We have Joseph Alexander Simpson. Real Joseph Alexander Simpson. Full force with Joseph Alexander Yeah, he has like 30 different fucking... So it's not... So also, this is another bit that he has. Um, so Joseph Alexander Simpson... Uh, he runs companies. So he has... So actually... So he has companies. He has he has like five or six. Let me let me do this. Hold on. Here's a here's a good way to put it. So he also recently he did this thing called like the Xander Direct or something. I think it was on Xander brand equal. See, <laughs> um, one of the things about finding content about this guy is that it's not, it's not, it's not easy enough to just know what the video is called. You have to know like the channel that he uploaded it to on. So he has um, maybe it's on Xander brand digital. No, okay. Oh no, no, it is here. Here we go. So he has this graphic. Also, first of all, this is this <laughs> stream that he did. He started it fifty five minutes early. And put this long ass countdown as if anyone is going to wait the full 50. And then when he gets to the end of the fucking countdown. Oh no, it doesn't even end. So what was the point of this countdown if you were just going to cut it short with a, with a soon? <laughs> and then it goes on. So this stream. Okay, so he goes back to the countdown <laughs> later. And <laughs> he doesn't. Okay. Let's see. So... A full hour of the stream is taken up by this stupid ass fucking countdown that no one cares about. And we don't, and then this is just a, like a, a compilation or something. I don't know. And we don't get to the real content until an hour and one second, about an hour into the fucking stream. And the stream is, a, is an hour and 13 minutes, guys. This is an hour long stream where the main content is 13 minutes of the stream. Right here. Okay, this graphic. So he has um he has his Jazz Enterprises, which is like a conglomerate that owns all of these companies. And then over here he has Jazz Entertainment and Jazz YouTube. I don't What? Jazz, what's the difference between this this and this? What are these? Is this just his personal YouTube channel? And then this is um And then he has Xander Brand Digital. Which is his like his main thingy, I guess, under Jazz Enterprises. 
It's it's not enough that he has one company with his name in it. He needs he needs two. In fact, he needs like thirty. And so he has all these. And then under this, he has individual YouTube. All just Xander Brand, Xander Brand Games, Xander. I can't even read that one. It's yellow. Xander Brand Vault, Xander Brand Music Group, Xander Brand Shop. And then create independent studios with Midpoint Americana, which is like a show that he wants to work on, and Cooper, the crime. Of a century, not the century. Crime of a century, any century, really. Um, so yeah, and he has. So so the reason I'm showing you this is not only to show you the fucking mind brain rot that he has, where he, he, he feel he feel he just like he jerks off to the idea that he owns like so. But he like like he's jerking off to the idea of doing big things, but he's not really doing big things. Um, but also, he has Twitter accounts and YouTube accounts for pretty much all of these individual things. Like, I don't think this one. I haven't really seen this one outside of this graphic. But, like, he has... I know he has a Twitter and a YouTube channel for Midpoint Americana. Um, I believe he has a Twitter account for Create Independent. He has a YouTube account for literally all of these individual things. Like, all of these are different YouTube channels. And then his personal YouTube channel. And then he has, like... He has, like... So many unnecessary Twitter and YouTube accounts. Xander Simpson, the Xander Brand, Xander Brand Podcast Network, the Xander Brand. Yeah, and some of these aren't even here anymore. Like he was like, "Oh no, I'm doing away with that old company. I'm gonna make a new company. It's like the same shit." Music group, Xander Brand Games, Xander Brand Equilibrium, Xander Brand Digital, Xander Brand Vault, Shop Xander. Xander Brand Vault. What is? What are you archiving? <laughs> you can't archive content when you don't make content. Okay. Xander Brand. Do not shop Xander Brand. Xander Brand Pride and Equity. Breaking the Ozone. Create Indie. The Disagreement Brothers Show. Getting the Shovel. Joseph Alex. And all these other shows? Getting the Shovel? What is this getting stuck on? My mouse is freaking getting stuck on Mike. shit. Pride of Elements. This news thing that I forgot to write in my script and I genuinely can't think of the name of it. And of course, Midpoint Americana. That's 20 fucking Twitter accounts. Not yep. including the ones that got- He's like a thousand, let me skip ahead. Oh no, I just keep going. We'll just keep going! I wonder why that happened. Now let me make it crystal clear that the only reason he has so many Twitter accounts is to artificially generate interactions and impress- Oh yeah, that's why I was looking for this shit. So also, he likes to pretend. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, well, let me find that. I know which one it is. So many different. Full force with Joseph Alexander Simpson. The Xander Brand. Xander Brand Podcast Network. The Xander Brand Music Group. Hold on. Xander Brand Games. Xander Brand Equilibrium. Xander Brand. Xander Brand Digital LLC. Oh. Wait, what? He has a. <laughs> he has a. Wait, I didn't even know that existed. Wait. He has a Spanish Twitter account? <laughs> global? Xander Brand Global? Yeah, we're taking this all around the globe. Because, you know, Spain and Mexico, China, Japan, they all have different internets, actually. There's no possible way they could get the main content from the main. See, his content is so big. He just he just working on so many companies at this point. He needs to show the whole world, like everyone, all my all my all my Mexican fellas out there. You you know what's up with the Xander brand. But anyway, he did this bit. Um, one of the first things on this on this uh, Twitter account. Also, like, 90% of his fucking tweets are just, like, remembering people. Like, Xander Brand Digital remembers 13th and 21st United States Secretary of Defense Donald Henry Rumsfeld. Bitch, you don't give a fuck about Rumsfeld. Don't, don't look me in my eyes and tell me you give a fuck about Donald, Donald Henry Rumsfeld? Who died on June 30th, 2021? Bless him, but you don't, who... Maurice Robert Gravel. I promise you if I came to Xander right now and I asked him who is Maurice Gravel, he'd be like, I don't know who she is. And 
And the, who the fuck is... Oh, Adam Perkins. Oh, he died too. Hashtag white teen content creator <laughs> who made the phrase welcome to Chili's become a famous meme. Okay. Okay. It posts so much shit. Oh no, is it gone? Is it gone? I can't find it. He made a tweet where it was like, Xander Brand is now... <laughs> Hold on. He was like, Joseph Alexander Simpson is now signed to be the president of Xander Brand Digital. I think he might have deleted it because we made fun of him. But he had a tweet where it was basically him. He printed out his own documents. And then he signed his own documents that he wrote. And then he took it and he stood in front of a green screen. Or maybe not a green screen. But he stood up he took a picture of himself in a suit. And then another picture of himself in a casual outfit. And he like puts them on screen. And the, the post is like, Xander Brand has just signed on. Uh, Joseph Alexander Simpson has just signed on to be the president of Xander Brand Digital. As, he, as, if he, as if he didn't create the company. Founded the company. As if he didn't take all of those pictures and edit them himself. As if he didn't print out those files and sign them himself as if <laughs> like like huh jazz enterprises remembers the life and legacy of legendary actor matthew langford perry a beloved actor and advocate, he brought laughter to millions and bravely used his personal struggles to raise awareness on addiction. His legacy of resilience and compassion will not be forgotten. Bitch. You've never seen an episode of Friends. Get the fuck out of here. Robert William Barker? Who is that? Get out of here. You don't give a shit about any of these people. My girlfriend is streaming right now. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Anyway. Oh, I should make a tweet. So true. And then let me add an image. Uh, I don't want to... Hold on. Just in case there's some saucy stuff. No! I don't want to save. Hold on. I'm going to do this image. I like this image a lot. And then... Uh, let me get... Oh, let me get to the stream. What the fuck is my mouse stuck on? What the fuck is... What's happening? Do you see what's happening with my mouse? What is that? Why does it keep happening? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Stop. There we go. And now, and let's keep watching. Xander Brand falls. Shop Xander Brand. Do not shop Xander Brand. Xander Do not shop Xander Brand. Including <laughs> clear that the only impressions for his own Twitter pages to make it seem like anyone gives a shit about him. If you look at any of his Twitter accounts, the overwhelming majority of the likes and followers he has are just these other accounts that he feels like this guy has dissociative personality disorder. This guy fucking types- There it is! That's the tweet I was talking about! It's right there! Breaking news! Joseph2003 has officially signed a contract as a Xander Brand Equilibrium, ca Equilibrium cast member, a Xander Brand music group artist, and Xander Brand's di Brand Digital's president. And then he t he prints out these- th this- this files- and then he signs them as if like they're they're binding legal documents to himself. And then he gets up in a in a like a a, a suit and he takes a picture of himself. And then he gets and then he puts on a different pair of clothing, takes a separate picture, and then photoshops himself on here. Joseph Alexander Simpson signs to Xander Brand Digital as if he didn't found the fucking company. And he posts it on his Xander Brand Digital where he's pretending to be like a thousand people in a trench coat, <laughs> like. He need, he need, I don't want to psychoanalyze, but I feel like he needs therapy. I just feel like I suggest, you know, prints out 
and signs contracts to enforce upon himself. <laughs> like, for God's sake, do you not think what you're doing is a little bit ridiculous? Now, I found humor in this, so a few months later, I volunteered myself to become a part of Xanderbrain. I was put on as an editor and a content coordinator, I believe. I don't know what my... My job title was that I didn't get paid shit for. I was a guest on a podcast, I edited two episodes of his podcast, and the way off the channel floundered for a few months with Xander just making more and more podcasts just to release one episode of it and then quit it and delete it. It's his tip. Okay, we're gonna skip this because it's kind of boring. I, I know shit. this sounds like a very. I want to get to the main main concept, story. But it's something we're that focused, guys. I'm doing it. my autistic I shake. I am the holder of depravity. It is my show. I own the rights to it. Now later on, he says he's going to allow me $300 a year. I highly recommend adding your own production tag before mine too, even if it's just the DD logo. Also reminding you that you have a yearly $300 budget when you get things going again. $300 a year? What a magnanimous fucking... Ugh. If only we could strive to be as righteous as the Joseph Alexander Simpson. Produce more episodes for depravity. Splendid. Over the next year, after episode four had aired, this $300 never materialized. So, obviously, neither did the episodes. We then had a voice call in which he stated next year I'd be receiving $1,500 for a yearly okay. budget. 1500 a year? That sounds like a lot, doesn't it, Ben? Of course. <laughs> Who would turn that down? Who would turn down such a magnanimous offer? What's up? You got any more board? No, he just... He, he's doing more of his bullshit obfuscating and professionalism, legal jargon, uh, profe like, pr what is that? What his brain, like, perceives as a professional. Yeah. Where he's like, we're gonna have a debate. There's gonna be a, a 15 minute opening statements round and then time for rebuttals and then we're gonna do some cross-examination it's like a trial <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> i mean it's a normal debate format but it's not like you're vosh and he's destiny you guys are just dumb I mean, youtubers like just do i don't want to do it doesn't need to be. i, I, I want to say that like dude you're wearing the same shirt as yesterday <laughs> I want to say goofy things like that i want I to say is 52 weeks going the way you planned it and he goes also yes. he can't Okay, I'm, I know it doesn't matter to you, but etiquette-wise, he can't just bring a moderator without consulting you about the moderator or the terms of it's the debate. It's Logan already. He just, like, came... Yeah, but, like, say you didn't, like, say, like... Say I, he was I decide the moderator and... No, no. <laughs> say he was not debating you and just some other schluck who doesn't know who Logan already is. He, as... Imagine you are like, okay, let's debate, and he's like, okay, I've already picked the moderator and the terms. Um, join now. It's like what? <laughs> You're not gonna talk to me about this? <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't get to decide the moderator. I'll bring my moderator. I'll bring two moderators. I'll bring two moderators. Moderator. Just to show, just show them up. It will be the moderators. They'll be the instigators. <laughs> <laughs> They'll do the opposite of moderating. They'll have their eyes closed. All right. Back to content. Back to the funny th stuff, without but him. Surprisingly, this Except with him. Also never materialized. So episodes didn't materialize. Oh, let me he change it back. Tells me that he emailed me regarding what he wants to. See. I sent over a general guideline for what I'm looking for for the 2023 run of depravity. Thank you. Which email? See in the 2023 season for okay. depravity. Splendid. So I go ahead and I open my email and I cannot find the email he sent me anywhere in my inbox, even in my spam. Which email? Hey, dude. Yo, dude. Yo, for two months, I didn't hear a single word from him, which is odd considering this information seems pretty. Hey, bro. Oh, hold on. I want to do a bit. Hold on. That's not funny enough to do it on the fly. <laughs> Drake is like, are you going to help me fund the show? And then Xander is like, yeah, just check your email. And, he, and Drake's like, okay, what email? Which, which email? Which, which email is it? Which, which one? Which, which email? <laughs> he just doesn't get a response at all. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> Critical to this thing he's intending on funding. 
He finally reaches out to me just to say email sent. <laughs> Splendid! I checked my email and he's asked Splendid! for project media files and graphics package for depravity. He claims this is for social media posts. Now I was a little bit put off by this, but credulously I just decided that there's no harm in it and I started to go through with it. But before I can even upload these files, he emails me again forwarding his previous email from two months ago asking about the 2023 season of depravity. Now get this. In this email, in exchange for $1,500... $1,500? That's a lot of money. You could do... Maybe... A good... A good... Five episodes. I feel like you could crank out a good five episodes. And that's pushing it a little bit. But a good a good five episodes of 1500 That's reasonable. Let's see the offer that Xander gave him. He fully expected me to create... 24 new episodes weekly in a six month time frame. 24! Half I want to appreciate real quick though that uh dollars. He fully expected me to Hold create on. 20 I like that he <laughs> I like that he came up with tw uh a bunch of mock uh, thumbnails here. Elon Musk, <laughs> Pyro, Harry Cole, Tree. What is that? Road to Brian. <laughs> nice. I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate the effort. Four new episodes weekly in a six-month time frame. Twenty-four half-hour to an hour-long episodes. For reference. All four episodes of Depravity up to this point have probably cost on the lower end of maybe a thousand dollars. Not to mention it takes weeks of coordination and planning to get an episode put together and finished. One thousand five hundred dollars for twenty-four episodes gives me an episode budget of sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. Whoa! That's like almost enough to go to go to Burger King after. <laughs> Listen up, white man. That Project on that you can almost you can also you can almost take out the whole team to McDonald's. You can all get soft serves. Wouldn't be feasible for 1.5 million dollars, not even 1.5 thousand for one person. No, I cannot. E 13 questions. I usually get my sister or a friend to write the question. They then seal them in envelopes. Next, I need to plan punishments. Every episode has between 10 and 13 unique punishments for that episode. That takes time to think of. Then, I have to get materials. For episodes 3 and 4, that means I had to get the foosball table, the dog shocker, the secret pancakes, the vinegar, the deodorant. This is a crazy show, by the way. Can we talk about this? What an insane show. Like, I was on the show. You want to watch a little bit of that? This is my content now. See, I, I'm in the show, so it's me. It's all me, buddy. Look, I'm in both these episodes. Which one do you want to do? I'll do the one without glasses on the thumbnail. What are you, the director? We had a killer intro, and none of the cameras were working. Like, I'm not recording this. I'm going to skip to a random part. Bam. Oh my god. Carsonville. Hell yeah. Carsonville. Let's continue. <laughs> that is antithetical to the Xander brand motto. Watch, like watch Depravity! Watch Depravity is the best game show on YouTube. Did you know that? Did you know? It's the only game show on YouTube. Get that shit together, I need to update the wheel. I need to get the set put together, putting up tablecloths. I need to find who I can get to be contestants for that episode. Who I can get to be a cinematographer. And then finally, once the episode is filmed, I need to edit it and condense it down to a 30 to 45... No, oh, whoops. Whoopsies. Is this midpoint Americana? It is filmed. I need a single example of Xander's reigning ignorance over the actual... It fucking psychotic. He then went on to social media where he both could not decide how many L's go in the word canceled. <laughs> Wait, did he miss... It fucking psychotic. He then went on... Cancellation. Canceled. <laughs> on the social media where he both could not decide how many L's go in the word canceled and also uh -huh. could not decide how many L's he would be taking for his career. Ooh.
That's good. That's good right there. That's a good one. That Depravity, a show that is mine, not his, has been cancelled by him. Four days after he cancels Depravity, he makes this tweet stating, Something new is coming soon. Now, I admire using the white outline on yellow letters on a yellow background. Professional here. The picture has the exact same tricolor branding as Depravity. The same has the same font, has the same color. This literally in the same, like, it's like the branding is the completely same exact the same. Font and stroke style. Like, yeah, you see? Look at there. I remember when these were white. I did not like that. I always thought that looked weird. Style as depravity. It's about as close to identical as his imbecile brain could replicate. I messaged him at. Let's project R Y B. Red, yellow, blue. I assume. When you want to know, when you want to know, weather boy. That's good. I like that. I'm just curious. Code name for the show: Replacing Depravity. Is it a totally different show? Yes. Now remember, it is a show that is to replace depravity, but it's a completely different show. So imagine like maybe. A show on a tele on a television channel uh, ends, and then they replace that slot with a different show. Like maybe Family Guy ends, and they replace it with uh, uh, Twenty One Jump Street. I don't know, but yeah. So a completely different show. Nothing, absolutely nothing like Depravity. Asking what project RYB was. Let's take a look at the logo, logo and the name. The logo, it's the exact same. Did you notice this? That's crazy. So he basically. That is, again, identical to the Depravity logo, with the same font and colors. It's not even- bro, he didn't even try to hide it. He had them in the same- you couldn't even change the order of the colors? Like, look at this. The only- di Like, look, like, look, like, all the colors are the same. Like, this- this word has one letter short, so there's, like, no V right here. But, like, Y, T, I, A, N, A, R, D. Like, it's all- literally the exact same- and it's, like- all the letters are in the same rotation like this like they align you know what i'm saying like this one is kind of off to the side like that and this one is off to the side like that and this t is like straight and this y is like kind of like that like it's not even like did, like was this a bit was this a prank what is this on top of that he tweeted it with a caption that is verbatim the opening to depravity a game that tests your mind and body to its fullest limits. A game of deception, mistrust, mistrust, betrayal, and punishment. Three contenders will need to use all three of these. No one responds. Whoa. This scumbag is play dragging my- THAT'S ME! THAT'S ME! This is- this is my old account. He's saying friend because we weren't dating yet, but this is my old account. This is an old account, uh, that I got- I got banded. Don't- don't tell Elon. I'm evade- I'm doing ban evasion, don't tell him. So this, a friend of mine jumped in, stating that Xander is play- This scumbag is plagiarizing my friend's work, please give him a tussle. I was there! So Xander messaged me, saying that- Lol, what the fuck? I've been making jokes slash references to Depravity, and people are thinking- Oh, So it's not a new show, nothing like Depravity, obviously. It's- it was a jaw. oh, he was- I was kidding, guys! Oh, he's just a reference! He's just referencing the show. He's not gonna make the idiot. Uh, why would he do that? Uh, Cause that that would be wrong. To fucking who? I promise. It was satire. It was just a prank. It I'm was just, just a prank. Pretending to rip off my so-called friend show. I'm not. The claim and the claimants elected to. Oh, here we go. That's it. You do not have the rights to the show. And you do not have the right to fucking file a copyright strike against me. Speaking of which, we're finally on that. On the 27th of September at 3 in the morning, all four episodes of Depravity were hit with a copyright at claim. At 3 in the morning? And the claimants elected to hit bro was like, Bro was like deep into the Cheeto dust. Bro, like drinking up his fucking like mango Pepsi and his like, like his, he's got the cheese in one hand and the drink in the other. He's like... What is it called? It's like he's like backwashing the cheese into his drink. He's like this son of a bitch. 
fucking Drake drag saw. Take fucking leave me and make depravity without my magnanimity. How dare you? And then he <laughs> then he copyrights it. I don't like this. Copyright strike. For those unaware, when you claim content on YouTube, you have a few options that as to fuck. what you'd like to do to the person that you are claiming. The claimants can remove the video, claim the ad revenue, or allow the video to remain live for a period of time before removing it. Along with this, they can also decide if they would like to hit the channel with a strike. A copyright strike can inhibit a creator's ability to upload, use custom thumbnails or comment, and other bad things that make things really inconvenient for the creator. These strikes are meant for when you commit a serious offense against YouTube's terms of service. It is punitive, and it puts your channel in a vulnerable position. Three strikes, and your YouTube channel is terminated. Now. Fortunately, other than my YouTube videos being removed that I've spent weeks working on, I haven't suffered any other consequences from this strike. That being said, it does not negate the demonstrable fraud that's been committed. I told Xander to remove the copyright strike on my channel, to which Xander claimed the- Hey man, busy night? What's up? Please remove your copyright strike on my YouTube channel. Let me look into it. You claimed it. I was completely unaware. I'm looking into it. absolutely no idea- It wasn't me! It wasn't me! There's also another bit that he does all that. On. Now, I'm assuming he expected me to believe that it was just an- Okay, so he has- a, Xander has this bit that derives from this, where he pretend- He pretends like he has this huge legal team. Like, he, he puts a strike on Drake Dragsaw's channel, but his way out is, Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't- I- I didn't put the strike on your channel. It was my legal team, yes, oh yes, it was my legal team. The the legal team that signed those papers in that tweet where I become the president of Joe, the same legal team that printed out those documents and I signed it. Um, that would, that, the, <laughs> he made up this fake legal team to fucking pretend like he didn't put the strike on, on Drake Dragsaw's channel. Automated this guy, right? Filed the copyright strike at three in the morning. Xander, if this was your legal team, I would cut ties with them like yesterday. Considering whoever filed that copyright claim broke the law. You see, the YouTube copyright ID system was a system that was. Oh my God! No! Look, I love you, but you need to shut the fuck up. No one gives a shit. Okay, I hear it too much. Hello. I'm skipping over your explanation of YouTube fair use. Because I, oh my god, kitty time. Pause, pause everything. Kitty, show the camera. Pause. Pause. Can we put the video on? Pause. What's what's that one's name? What's his name? You're asking me? It's Hobbs. Yes, I, I know. I wanted you to say the name. Let's go, Hobbs. Baby, do you want to say anything to the people on the microphone? Say something. You're on the camera. You can say anything to the world. Baby. Look at the little ear. Alien. Alien. <laughs> Baby. No! There you go. I don't want her anymore. Take her out of my sight! Why are you holding her upside down? She's gonna fall. She's gonna fall. No! She got this guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you good over there? <laughs> anyway. Tube tells me that the email address <laughs> of the person that submitted the claim. Let me check something. Okay, there we go. Name was the same one as Xander's. Interestingly enough, that is my email. Well, I'm glad we agree, Xander, because that's also interesting to me. He then tries to explain that his information- Dude, the email you're forwarded says that it was you, because technically I co-signed it. They used my name because I signed off on it. You said you weren't aware, but I didn't exactly know what they were going to claim. On the email because oh. technically... See, no, 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 the reason my name- Look it, I didn't do the copyright strike. It was someone in my legal team that's definitely real. The same legal team that wrote that paper that I definitely- uh, I did not print out that paper. Um, and, uh, it was my legal team and see my name is on the email, but that was, that's because they work under me. Right. And so when they file uh, a 
a copyright strike, it says my name and nobody else's name because they're doing it on my behalf, even though I didn't tell them to do that. I, I swear, guys, it wasn't me! It wasn't me! He co-signed it, but at the same time, he also didn't know what the fuck he was co-signing, I guess. Now, Sander, be fucking honest. How many people are re-uploading your content? How many people are even doing business with you other than formerly me? You're not fooling anyone to himself because he's... P please pause to read this email. Never done that before. Was I... Xander then forwarded an email conversation between him and his legal team, which is definitely not just him talking to himself because he's never done that before. <sighs> with identical signatures. Drake Draxaw is legally grandfathered and due to the previous agreement. As long as he is not creating or posting new content, I don't see why he couldn't be in the clear to just have the content remain on the platform, especially for what he has already posted. But at the end of this conversation, he resolves that he would like to remove the strike on my channel, stating that I had permission to upload those videos. I don't need his... So I've decided to record an addendum to this video because a lot has transpired since I originally recorded it. After I recorded the video, I made a tweet saying that Real Joseph Alexander Simpson has illegally put a copyright strike on my channel and removed all four episodes of my series Depravity. When confronted, he claimed he had no idea it even happened, then said the claim was taken care of. It wasn't, channel strike still remains. He then quote retweeted it saying, I don't like public statements about legal actions taken by an independent team of hires. See, this part's new to me. I haven't seen this yet. That sucks, Xander, because I also don't like illegal copyright strikes on my channel and my videos being suppressed. There was an agreement in place when the show was created, and my legal team felt like we had the rights to the show's intellectual property. Xander, you did not make an... Oh, it went from, I had nothing to do with it, to, oh, it was my legal team on my behalf. To, oh, but, like, I thought I did the correct thing, but I take it back. <laughs> Intellectual property trademark claim. You made a copyright claim. The copyright is the videos themselves. It is what is recorded and put out. Trademark are things like the format, the logo, etc., etc. Regardless, you did not have either of them, but you cannot even get this shit consistent. I've asked YouTube to reinstate his videos as they were permitted to be posted at the time. I wonder what he means by that. Per our agreement, any actions taken beyond that are being done by an independent legal counsel, counsel is misspelled, who are way more engrossed in IP law because I didn't go to law school. Again, he's now trying to claim that he owns the IP, which is trademark, when he does not. He's changing his wording strategically to try and weasel himself out of what he did. You didn't make a trademark claim, you made a copyright claim, and you put a copyright strike on my YouTube channel, the creator went- Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's boring, 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 boring. Let's move on. Anyway, so, that is the background that you need to know about Drake. What? Drake and Xander Xander. That's their names. Drake, Drake, and Xander Xander. Um, what do you mean, what? What do you mean, boring? Well, no, it's just- <laughs> Are you watching my stream in the other boring, room? boring, boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, well, no. <laughs> what, you don't care to know the difference between copyright and trademark? No, talk? I mean, no, but it would just be... <laughs> No, they can't see me on camera. <laughs> you don't care to know the difference? There's a difference! There is a difference, but what I'm saying is that I didn't give a shit about that extra lore. <laughs> well, there's more to it. But like what? Gonna... Explain right now. I don't know, I'm gonna delete it. No, <laughs> you can delete the video. I'm gonna delete the channel. No! Why does this always come up dumb? <laughs> that freaking... It was like... Anyway. <sighs> That's him. That's him, right? Hold on. Hold on. This. This is him. This is him. All day. All day, every day. Like, if I get... Hold on. 
Hold on. No, no. <laughs> Listen. If I get a... Uh, uh, that's like a decent picture. And I'll do this one because he looks more unhinged. And it's lower quality. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. So. And then... Here we go. I mean... I mean, come on. Come on. The resemblance is uncanny. Oh, let me show the screen. The resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> it's the same. Look at it. Look at it. Watch. I bet you won't even know the difference if I if I take this. And I put this on top. And I do that. Watch. No. Hold on. Look. Uncanny. That's like the same face, right? Like, look at that. Like the exact same face. <laughs> anyway. Crazy circle fingers. <laughs> circle fingers crazy. Okay. That's all the introduction that we needed for Xander and Drake Draxaw. But the thing, the interesting thing, what is this? I'm new in town. I ought to try that. Bet I'd meet a lot more people. I'm Keith, by the way. What's your name, buddy? Oh, I'm Davis. Great to meet you. This is unfunny. Ba 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 boring. Okay. So we have less than two hours until the debate between Drake Drexaw and Joseph Alexander Simpson. What do we do in that time? Well. I've set up a contingency. Until until the debate starts at 9.30, I'm gonna try to work on a video. I, I've, I have a bunch of video ideas, but I narrowed it down to four videos. And whichever one that this random thing picker website picks is the video that we'll work on on stream. Are you ready? Three, two, one, bam. Daryl Perry. So Daryl Perry is a beautiful, beautiful man. That's not who I'm looking for. I don't even know that's, if that's how you spell his name. Darren Perry, Libertarian. He's a Libertarian candidate. And I wanted to do Daryl with two R's. Okay. Daryl. Libertarian debate. Daryl Perry defines Libertarianism. Yes. All right. no, okay. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch this uh, debate um, just to see. So, so the first half is to look for silly and funny videos about this guy. Um, let's go. I saw the uh, the libertarian debate, and um, uh, I also have spent a, a decent amount of time debating libertarians on this program over the years, uh, and interviewing different. Uh, uh, libertarian folks, some who I imagine you would not consider um, uh, real libertarians. Um, and to be honest with you, every libertarian I've ever had on has basically considered all the other libertarians I've had on to be not real libertarians. Uh, but um, uh, so I I'm glad to have you here. I know that uh, you each know each one of them. Things. See, Sam Cedar is such a crazy amazing like vanguard for the left right and by vanguard i mean like the vision like a, he's a paladin you know he's 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 an he's a heavenly knightly force and these libertarians come up to him and they're like no 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 i more more bolder than the last i will defeat you sam cedar and then it ends uh with with them screaming let me get to the part there's a hilarious part in this. Oh, does that not happen in this video? There's a part where Sam Cedar is like, um. Well, we'll just watch. We'll just watch. We'll just watch. <laughs> I also have spent a, a decent amount of time debating libertarians on this program over the years uh, and interviewing different. Uh, Let's go ahead. Uh, but 
Um, uh, so uh, I, I'm glad to have you here. I know that uh, you have some pretty strong principles about this. And we had talked about um, basically debating the idea of libertarianism. Is it the right uh, prescription for uh, the, uh, America? So do you want to start off? I mean, do you, it, it, would it be okay if I asked you, like, what is your definition of a libertarian? Yes, so my definition of a libertarian is someone who abides by libertarian philosophy. And libertarian philosophy is based on the principle of non-aggression, personal responsibility, and self-ownership. So uh, you know, I think we will both agree that I do not have a legitimate right to the fruits of your labor. And you don't have a legitimate right to claim any of the fruits of my labor. And that should uh -huh. apply across the board to everyone. I can't He's just vaguely gesturing. You ever hear people who are completely dishonest about their political uh, positions talk about their political positions? Like, if you ask, like, a really, like, hardcore, like, principled, like, like, liberal, like, what, what do you believe? And they're like, well, I believe in uh, liberation for all minority groups, and I believe in, 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 uh, all all the people of the world coming together and like let me get to the, let me go back to the end of what i was talking about i lost my train of thought but anyway they'll always describe their political opinions like in the most vague terms you know what i'm saying so that like it doesn't exclude anyone in a sense like just rhetorically it doesn't exclude anyone it's like daryl perry what do you what do you believe libertarianism is and then Daryl Perry's like, well, I believe that it's freedom and the happiness of the world. Libertarianism is when uh, good things happen. And then uh, the not libertarianism is when the bad things happen. You know what I mean? You can't steal the things that are mine and I can't steal the things that are yours. That's that's my, I get fruit and, and you get fruit, but we work for the fruit and we both have fruit. That's what. If me and the rest of the neighbors decide to vote to go take stuff from one of the people in the neighborhood, vote? that doesn't make it right either. And if we decide to call ourselves government, then it still does not make it right to just go take stuff from people. Because again, I don't have the right to take their stuff. I can't delegate a right that I don't have to anyone else or to a group of people. And libertarians believe that no one has a legitimate right to initiate force for political or social goals. Taking stuff from somebody because you think you can do something better with it is either a political or social goal, depending on how you go about taking their stuff. So that is... Oh my god, I'm so fucking bored. Holy shit. Just get... it, this video is almost over. Last night, actually, on the Libertarian Town Hall. I knew he that. Does that a lot? I knew that uh, would get your and, goat uh, when he said And that. certainly, when you apply, well, would get his goat. Wait. Last night. In fact, I heard I, I heard Gary um, Johnson say that last night, actually, on the Libertarian Town Hall. I knew he that. Does that a lot? I knew that uh, would get your and, goat uh, when he and, said and that. And certainly, when you apply libertarian philosophy. Then, yeah, but he's a bitch. Okay, you should vote for me because he's a bitch. Okay. <laughs> I wish he, that would be funny. And you will be more socially liberal than someone who... You will be more socially liberal. ...not apply libertarian philosophy, but just being, you know, a low-tax liberal or a liberal Republican does not make you a libertarian. So let me just, um, um, so let me just work backwards from that so that um, I can see if I, I get what you're saying here is that um, a, a true libertarian, uh, relative to let's say Gary Johnson, um, actually abides by those principles first, and uh, instead he's going out there and saying, coincidentally, I'm this way. Uh, but uh, he's not putting uh, the first principles that guide his decision making out there first. Is that the issue with with Johnson? Right, and I don't know what his principles are that guide his decision making. Well, he certainly didn't talk about it very much on that town hall. This is just so boring. Guys, I thought this would be more entertaining. I thought we would get more out of this. Epic libertarian presidential candidate. Oh, he debates him a bunch.
You debate him here, you debate him here, you debate him here. Daryl W. Perry. Oh my god. He's a fucking. I, look at this fucking. Oh my god. This guy looks like fucking. He looks like fucking, uh. I'm trying to find a, what the fuck is that show called? I cannot remember for the life of me the name of the show. I think it's these guys. No, 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 man. No, I wish I remembered things. I wish I had a bigger... He looks like, dude, he looks like the characters on that one show that I can't remember the name of. He looks like, okay, blame it on Jorge. It's gotta be in here. It's gotta be. Is this even worth it? <gasps> here it is. This show. He looks like a fucking... What's the name of this show? Peppermint Park. He looks like the motherfucking... He looks like these... Bitches. Look at it! Look at it! That's the... Wait, hold on. Look at him! Look at this! It's the... <laughs> it's the same, bro! Um, what? He's the same. Look at him! Well, New Hampshire consistently ranks as bro, where does his... You know what I'm talking about? Three states according to the Freedom of the 50 States rankings. The Granite State is an island of prohibition. All of our neighbors, Maine, Massachusetts, Vermont, and Canada, have to some extent rolled back a portion of the drug war in allowing recreational cannabis. We would have legalized cannabis if it weren't for Governor Chris Sununu. We would have an independent redistricting commission if not for Governor Chris Sununu. 85% of... Nunu? His last name is Nunu? I don't want to make fun of it. What if it's... I don't want to be culturally insensitive. <laughs> ...support an independent redistricting commission. 74% want legal cannabis. Have you seen how this guy's posted up? Okay, we're, we're saving this one. I'm gonna call this one... Bro, what? And we're gonna... We're gonna do a little folder here. We're gonna call it the Daryl Perry folder. There we go. And I'm, I'm sharing my screen, right? Okay, good. 63% oppose mandatory minimum sentencing, and 61% of people in New Hampshire think that nonviolent prisoners when was this filmed? released from three years ago in order to reduce overcrowding. That's also a way to reduce government spending. And then, if we legalize cannabis and set the tax rate by statute at 1% lower than any of our neighbors, we would wind up benefiting and again have that New Hampshire <laughs> advantage to where people aren't going to Massachusetts to buy retail cannabis. People from Massachusetts would drive across the border into New Hampshire to get their retail cannabis when they buy their cheap liquor and their fucking... Okay, whoever mixed this up, I have a huge pet peeve. You can hear, like, the... You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's very subtle, and once you've listened for it, or heard it, like, then you can't get rid of it. But, like, just when he's talking, like, the, like, the microphone is so close to his, like... Like it's, you can hear like while he's talking, like if I'm over here, I can, I can kind of talk like this and you can't really hear anything. But if I'm over here, you can kind of, you can kind of hear more of the mouth noises and, and the nose and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And you can hear like the littles like, <laughs> like while he's talking, when they buy their cheap liquor, like really listen for it. So we would wind up winning doubly by getting the tax revenue and saving money. We also need to address the opioid epidemic. And clearly, the current approach of drug prohibition is not working. He also, like, has a cold. Oh, my God. Did you see that? 
Dude, bro, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth! Oh my god! How do I do that cl this clip thing? I'll ask him how to do it. But look at this! Oh my god, man! His gums are like orange. <laughs> Not that. Um. Looking for uh, looking for the original of that video. Oh, here we go, Mr. Daryl Perry. Okay, so it's the Libertarian Convention 2026 or 20. 2016. I can't read. Sorry, my bad. 2026 has not happened yet, actually, believe it or not. Libertarian delegate strips at convention? Is there, like, no version of the original? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ! Woo! God. Oh my god, it's all in my left ear. I was so ready to watch at least a little bit of that, but it's over now. There's no god. Alright. It's on C SPAN. Born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama, my mom's home state. He's had a career as an author and as a host in TV and in radio. He's co-founder and co-chair of New Hampshire Tea Party and now owner and managing editor of Free Press Publications. <laughs> Governor Gary Johnson. Ooh, Gary Johnson. We just heard him mentioned. People in here, and I actually do want to show of hands, love grandmas. How many of you would donate money to feed grandmas? I do not see a single person that did not raise their hand. That's how you fund Social Security, Medicaid, and Medicare. Woo! Yeah! Don't rely on, like, a system that's built to make sure that you get the money or, or any, like, organization. Just trust, like, the goodwill of everyone around you. That's how you get money. That's how you get fed, you know? You just gotta pray. You just gotta not even pray. You have to know that all the beautiful people in your community are just willing to give you their money out of their pocket. Bernard von Nothaus to go to prison for competition with the Fed, and then we can end the Fed. <gasps> oh my God! He ripped up a one dollar bill. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Woo! All right. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. At some point, become funded through theft okay. and coercion. The military should be as big as it can be off of donations and bake sales. So true. Governor Johnson, we spend more on our military than the next 15 or so nations combined. How large should our military has one of the best foreign policies in the world, and they are in no way isolationist. How many people have ever had Swiss chocolate, Swiss cheese, and a Swiss army knife? So true! Isolation is not isolation. Mr. Parrott, I read statutes for fun, and so far I have yet to find the word tomato in any statute. But I don't think anybody here would say that tomatoes are not legal. I think that every substance, where it, whether it be cannabis or crystal meth, should be absolutely as legal as tomatoes. There should not be any regulations on how... He just said crystal meth should be as legal as tomatoes? True. What you buy, grow, sell, possess, consume, sell to your neighbor, give to your neighbor, throw in the air to land on the ground, wherever it may be. No regulations. Everything should be as legal as tomatoes. Governor Johnson. But again, people are smart enough to know not to give horrible, horrible things to children. Let's look at Portugal, and I'm going over time because everybody else has. 
Let's look at Portugal for a second. They decriminalized everything 15 years ago. Drug use, drug abuse dropped drastically. Everybody's safer because they're not afraid to go get help if they need it. Right now in this country, people are afraid to go get help because if they go... Bro, he's trying... He's putting all his effort into, yeah, like, putting more power into his voice. And he's not talking that loudly. <laughs> he's not talking very loudly. And he's, he's, like, you can see, like, the vein, like, the V. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all... Like, it looks like cartoon, like, eyebrows. <laughs> Did you see? He had, like, a little mouth quiver. He looked like he was about to cry. <laughs> the fucking cop! He fucking... <laughs> He looks like he's about to fucking ball his eyes out. Like he's about to run off stage. Governor, or two huh. things. The government requires licenses for people to broadcast radio. The government requires licenses to get married. They require a license to drive. What's next? Requiring a license to make toast in your own damn toaster? Tell them. Absolutely not. Tell them. Tell them. I shouldn't need a license to make toast in my own toaster, Biden. How dare you? It's my freaking toaster. If you want an actual libertarian on the ticket, and you want to help the libertarian party actually be libertarian again, not with a watered down message, but with an absolute message of freedom on every issue, every time, vote for me tomorrow so I walk off of this stage, the libertarian party presidential nominee. See, this just, look at it. Guys, if you thought about getting into politics or, or trying to, uh, like, run for office in any capacity, and you told yourself, man, I'm just a cringy kid, I don't, I, I'm gonna just look like an idiot. Look, you can look, Daryl Perry has proven that you can look as stupid as possible, literally look stupid as possible, but also say stupid things. And as long as you're saying it with enough energy, you could convince a lot of people to stand up and clap for you. Look at them. They've stood up and clapped, it did. You see that? He's, he's just said the most ridiculous shit. He said that, he said meth should be as legal as tomatoes. He said he doesn't want the government to, to create a license so you don't have to cook toast in your toaster. Like, that was ever a problem. And people are like, woo! So if you don't believe in yourself, you have to remember... If anyone can believe in Daryl Perry, you can believe in yourself. Did someone just walk into this room? Anyway, that was weird. I'm already against the next war. What war was that? Hey, hold on. America's Wars. Global War on Terror? It ended in 2021? How do you even signify the end of that? Isn't the War on Terror like a... Like, it's not literally like a War on Terror. It's like... It's not like a literal war, right? It's just kind of like a... An agenda, you know? Like, how do you quantify the war? Anyway. Have we not been in any wars since 2016? Not fighting directly, but we never, I guess, Ukraine. So not a single war has happened. So whatever, the war has not happened, but he's already against it, guys. He probably thinks that we're in at war with Russia right now, or, or with Ukraine, or something. <laughs> I have been microphone one. Point of parliamentary inquiry. Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Perry. Since the balloting or the ballot counting is still going, is that previous motion not out of order? Which motion are you asking about? The motion to flash the results on screen instead of having the states read those. The chair has ruled that it is in order. Would you like to appeal the ruling of the chair? I'm hearing people say yes. All right, we'll do it then. Do you care to speak to it or are we gonna be good? I think, I think we can just go to vote on this. 
all in favor of sustaining the ruling of the chair that it was in order to suspend the rules in order to dispense with people walking to the microphones and announcing the ballot state by state, please say aye. Aye. All those who wish to overturn that ruling of the chair, please say no. No. The ruling of the chair stands. <laughs> Microphone number two. Wait, no, actually, though, how do you quantify that? It's just volume. What if you're, like, deaf in one ear? <laughs> Do <you> like <laughs> I did not plan for if we had nothing to do until uh, let's play Resident Evil 7 I mean 4 sorry not 7 we could play 7 though but we're gonna play 4 let me go get my charger charger charge my phone because it's motherfucking dying da 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 See that I got the stream pulled up. <clears throat> All right. Let's play a game. A game. Not just any game. The RE4 game. Speed tree, quick soul. I don't care. Bring me to the game. Uh. All right. Why does the game look like that? Hold on, I'm looking at it on the stream and it looks weird. <laughs> Why does it look weird? <laughs> um. Nope. Do uh, Resident Evil Four yet? And then uh, hold on. Transform fit to screen. Fit to screen. Stretch to screen. Sure. Now, does that look normal? Waiting for it to load on the stream. It's almost there. Huh. That's weird. See, this would be so much more useful if I had a second motherfucking. If I had a second monitor. I bought a fucking wire. For my second monitor, and it came in the mail. Um, the piece that's supposed to plug into the wall just didn't show up on the. Why is it? That's so weird. Why is it doing that? Why is it not? I don't understand why it's doing that thing that it's doing. Why? Like, do you... Like, why is it just fucking... Why is it not stretching to the screen like it's supposed to? Like, I've been...
Why is it doing that? That's so weird. Like when I have it like this, it's just a black screen. But when I do it the other way, it, it's not in frame correctly. Like what the fuck? I don't get it. Why is it doing that? Like, why is it off to the side like that? This is really annoying. I don't understand. Let me close the game and open it again. Confirm. Stop. I just closed you. Ugh. Like, why? Like, what's happening right now? Why is it doing that? That's so annoying. Why are the graphics low? Maybe that's why. That is why I'm not stupid. The game is. Now let's go. Main story continue. Continue exactly where we left off. Which is at the beginning of chapter two, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Space. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Oh, hello there. Yo, I have something to ask you. You bitch ass. Bitch ass. Shoot you in your ass, you bitch. Who threw that? Who would throw such a thing at me? Hey. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck off, you stupid fucking... Jesus Christ, give me that money. Thank you. Can I go up here? Can I go up here? No, okay. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go this way. Hello? Huh, <laughs> idiot. Moron. Stay on your toes next time, you dumb fucking animal of the world. Alright.
bum ba ba Oh shit! Oh shit. Oh my god! No, fuck off! Oh my god. No, you fucking dickhead! No! What the fuck, man? These fucking bear traps are so fucking stupid. Holy shit. Continue, you fucking loser. The only reason I died there was because of that stupid ass fucking retarded fucking landmine. Yeah, destroy the wind-up dolls, okay. I don't care. I don't care. This is the face of someone who doesn't give a shit, okay? Uh, Give me that motherfucking ammo. Present for you. No, you fucking cunt. R! Fucking reload! What are you doing? Just standing there doing absolutely fuck it all. Nope. You fucking loser! Get away from me! You're a bitch. Ah! <gasps> oh. Bitch ass. Stupid bitch! Fucking die. Oh my god, are you dead? Not yet! You're still not dead? Oh my god, you fucking bitch. Oh my god, no! What the fuck? Go! Finally, you're fucking dead. Jesus, give me that shit, you fucking miserable piece of fucking cunt balls. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, hello there. How do I crouch again? Can I not crouch? Oh, there we go. Why is it E? Who did that? Who thought? Yeah, we're gonna put the crouch button as E. Who thought of that? Who did such a thing? That's inventory button, idiot. Inventory is spelled with an E. It's easy. Have I been here before? Because all these are used. My dumbass uses some motherfucking... this work no okay well then what the fuck what is this way hello <clears throat> fucking oh my god man. That guy, that's gotta be like the one trap the one fucking bear trap i did not step on the last time i was here whenever that was i don't remember being here Why are you just fucking yelling and talk not yelling, but fucking you might as well be yelling without fucking deep your voices echoing through the whole damn house. 
I'm gonna guess. No. Well, that sucks. And you should feel bad. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. At last, flesh our flesh, blood our blood. Give thanks and rejoice. No, I will not give thanks. I'm completely unthankful. Give me that shit. I'm entitled to it. Hello. Brown chicken egg? I didn't know they came in brown. Ooh, another small key. When are we gonna use these bitches? Oh, hey. Yeah. In the original game, you'd come out here and go that way, but we came from there. I find that interesting. That's one of the few things. That's one of the few things that's different layout-wise. And I remember the guy in the toilet. I remember you. Can't get me. Let's go upstairs. We have all the stuffs, right? What is that? Combination lock. No! Door with insignia. No! Go upstairs. Oh, hey. Let me, let me mix up some shit. Let me do some chemistry here. Well, I probably should have done it with that. Whatever. Oh. I just saved over an old save. Okay. Let's be realistic. I'm probably not going to go back. I don't have anything for this. Ugh. Ugh. I can't do shit. Why is there no flashlight? Open this motherfucking door. What goes there? What, um, what do we need to do? Expanded treasure map? Locked drawer. Oh, I can unlock it. Okay, I guess we just go back. There ain't nothing for us over here. Let's get back to the shop guy. And let's try to get that expanded treasure map that I saw on the map. Saw the map on the map. Open the door. I said open the door. Idiot. Ooh. Uh, gun rhymes with fun. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> okay, but <buddy>. okay, buddy. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> fun rhymes with gun. What are you trying to tell me right now? I guarantee it. What information are you attempting to convey? Repurchase? No. Should I repair this? A well-tuned weapon can make up for a lack of skill, friend. Got a yeah. suit yourself. So where's that expanded treasure map? It's through here. Oh, did I miss it in the corner? <clears throat> Ah, nope. Yeah, give me that shit. 
Ooh. Oh, I thought the item was the expanded treasure map. It's just some fucking stupid ass amethyst. Uh, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Ugh. Yep. Yep. Now let's sell this shit to him. Oh no, he's over here. Hello, fucker. Welcome. Sell. <laughs> what you Why do you say it like that? <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, wait. Let's go to that locked drawer. And unlock it. Locked drawer, but ooh, looks like I got a key for it. Open that shit up. Ooh, nice. Inlay gemstones, and we already have a gem for it. Isn't that so perfect, guys? It's like this game was made for me. Okay, you you keep you 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 do see ya. Bye. Everyone here is dead, right? I already killed them all. Okay, well. Let's go over here and get my expanded expanded treasure map item. Over here. I see you. You little bitch. Bam, you saw that? Shit. Ooh, a spinel. It looks like I haven't gone this way. Ooh. A box. It's my dick in a box. Oh, I thought I could open it. Hmm. Curious. Where are we supposed to go? We did all this. And it opened up a path to that house. We went to that house. I think we went through that whole part. And then we put the piece into that those red doors. And then we were supposed to do something after that. I th I'm pretty sure. We were supposed to do something over here. But what was it that we were... That we, we was... We were... We, we was supposed to do. Well, how do I get down there? Wait, I want to go over there. Hmm.
And then we were supposed to come... See, in the original game, you wake up in this place after you get knocked out. And then you have to go that way. But we did it in reverse, so now we're here. So, it only begs the question, what the fuck are we doing here? We don't have a key for that. Perhaps I wasn't over here, but someone else. But who would dare go through the bear trap things? What about through this doorway over here? Did we not go this way? Oh. Oh, here we go. In great veneration of their master, the people offered up their most prized possessions. The old farmer, his finest crop, the slight swineherd, his stoutest pig, and the beggarly grandam, her own beloved babe. The master saw these gifts and was pleased. So crop, swineherd, pig, babe. Crop, swineherd, pig, babe. The swineherd. Crop, swineherd, pig, babe. Crop. So that would be this. Swine herd? They did say pig. Is that a pig? I believe that's a pig. And then babe. Is there a woman here or is it just a baby? Okay, I guess that baby is is the babe. Weird weird way to refer to a baby, but okay, I'm not judging, I guess. Oh god. Hey, fuck off! Piece of shit. I was worried if there was anyone else in the building. Oh my god, I have so much money. What the fuck? Where'd all that money come from? What the heck? What the frick? Use that shit. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I see what the issue is. Hold on. You see it? It's materializing. Hold on. Let's go, let's go. Hold on. That's it right there. I, just, I did that say right there. That's it right there. Come on, that's close enough. There we go. Well, we can just rotate it like that. I don't have to do my little shimmy. There we go. Woo. Date, October 10th. The weather has been strange of late. The wheat withers and the cows grow thin. De uh, December 8th. There are signs of famine. It is true, we lack the means to work the fields, but Lord Saddler's orders are absolute. January 30th. 30 people have starved to death. Five cows will be slaughtered. March 11th. The patriarchs gather to cast lots. Six more chosen for Lord Saddler. April. Eight more today. 
Four more today. Eleven more today. Two outsiders got lost and wandered into the village. We took them to the altar for the ritual. No need to cast lots today. Okay. Would that be me and the other guy that I forget the name of? Spanish guy? Even though we're in Spain, so every character except me and the president's daughter is Spanish, but just forget that detail. The explicitly Spanish character, I should say. No! Frick off! I wasn't even done searching that room! Her blood has accepted the gift. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my god! It's a woman. I haven't seen a woman in years. Give me my gun back, bitch. Give me my tea, bitch. Blood. That's the end of the chapter? Really? That was the whole last chapter that we just did. Bruce Secunder One, I've got that intel you requested on Louis Sarah. It seems he used to be a researcher for Umbrella. Umbrella? That's the that's the evil put people. That's the bad people. I'm sending you the details. No. Take a look. But Baby Eagle is your priority. Copy that. Making my way to the church. Making Condor. my way to the church. Condor went out. Hey, this past and I'm homebound. Da 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 da. We're on chapter three, just like that. That was the whole thing. Did we already do a significant amount of chapter two, and I wasn't aware? No, uh, -uh. whoa. We need the other girl for this. Ugh. Useless, useless, useless. There's no lights in the house. Is it nighttime? No, it's nighttime. That means it's gonna be scary. No. Let's go. Hello. It's not exactly nighttime, it's like the afternoon. <gasps> no! We gotta save the puppy! Save him! Take care of yourself, buddy. Yeah, stay safe, buddy. You juvenile dog. Stay, stay safe. Insignia. Oh, how did I miss that? Whatever. Oh. How did I miss those things? It's too dark without a flashlight. How do you even... We gotta start swinging at boxes after we hit them because about now is when the game will probably start putting snakes in those boxes a lot more often. See, when you open those boxes, sometimes a snake jumps out and hits you. But you gotta be ready. Hey, I saw you. Hey, get back here! Open this shit. Let me in. I'm trying to talk to the CEO of Spain. 
otherwise known as the president of Spain. Is there a president of Spain? I'm pretty sure. Hey, we're back here. What the frick? Let me move my hair out of my ears. Hair starting to dig into there. Hungry as hell. Hello. Oh. Hello. Let me open it. Uh, fucking cunt. Oh my god. What, what the fuck? Oh my god! What the fuck is that? Get away! Get away! No! No, no, there's three of you. Nope, not even a little bit. Not even a chance, nope. These don't look like scary zombie dogs. These look like characters from fucking Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Yep, I know. One more. Oh! Stupid bitch. Oh my god! I don't even want to think about what the fuck that was about to happen to that dog. Oh my god. not quite what I wanted to do, but okay. Where is this shotgun ammo that I've been promised? There it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Where is this? This? Just this? Where is this? Gap in the wall? Oh yeah, we can't get in there until we have fucking Ashley. So where does I go? Where do I go? Where is the next step in our journey? Do we go this way? Do we go all the way back to the beginning? Hello? Nope. No way back. Well, it'd be like that. Well, hmm. Well, we had a good run, everybody. We should just give up right now. Perhaps this way? Oh. I think this is where I came from. Yeah, this is where I came from. <laughs> this is just where I came from. 
Oh, what about this way? No. Hmm. Perhaps this way. No, does not look or does not appear so. Hmm. F. Oh, let's do that. Hello. What's in here? <gasps> what is that? A vintage compass. For selling only. Hmm. Ooh, nice. Oh wait, there's a way that, that way. What, do I have to go through the house? Is that what it is? Huh. Hold on. Maybe that's why that girl was there. I'm supposed to go over here and then jump out this window. And then that way is where the church is. If we find enemies, that's how we know we're going the right way. Hmm. Nothing in those doors. How about this? Woo! Let's go! This must be where the church is. Ooh, nice. Yep. Let's keep going. I might stop streaming games like this. I mean, I'll finish this game. And I still want to finish Bioshock and Undertale because those were two Let's Plays I never finished. But after that, I might not do this kind of gaming content. I mean, I like gaming and I like talking to you guys, but it's just hard to really think of what to say. I'm just kind of like immersed in this game, you know? And I don't want to break that immersion just to be silly and entertaining on the internet, right? Especially if it's not funny. That was kind of funny. He kind of like made me do a little thing, you know? I thought that was, I thought that was pretty silly. Damn. Them bitches are resilient. Their head, their brain's so small, it's hard to hit. You know, like it's just going through their skull and not hitting anything. Hello, insignia? No. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going this way, right? This is the way to the. Church? Question mark? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I just find myself just kind of sitting here. And I'm not bored of the game. I really like playing the game. I'm just... It, I feel the need to say something, like commentate, but I don't want it to be disingenuous, you know? So I'm kind of forcing myself to do something I don't really want to do in a weird way. <clears throat> Pretend I didn't fuck it up at the end. 
Where do I go? Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of become a little... A little absent-minded, I guess, about commentary and stuff when I'm doing it on stream for a video game. I do like these streams, though. I need to figure out what I want to do for streaming if I'm not going to do gaming content. Because I do like my video games. But damn, do I hate making video gaming content. Like, holy shit, no one ever tells you how fucking boring that is, man. It totally ruins the game, you know? Like, you're just chilling and playing a game. Nobody nobody plays a game like Markiplier plays a game. I'm sure that Markiplier is pretty genuine in, in like, his entertainment-wise. But I'm saying, like, when he plays a game, like, by himself, alone. I'm sure he's not fucking being a goofball the entire time. Or maybe he is. But what I'm saying is, is just, I don't know. For me, personally... It doesn't feel genuine for me to sit here and be like, Oh, oh my god, guys. Oh my god, it's so scary. Oh, shit. Look at the the wood. Look at it. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Look. Shit. Oh my god, guys. And like, you know what I mean? It feels more natural for me to just kind of sit here and play in silence. Because that's kind of how I play games. I just kind of sit and I just chill. Like, I don't really have to think too much outside of the game, I guess. <sighs> I just don't know what to do until the Xander stream, and I'm not sure where to go in this game. I do not know where I'm meant to go. Over here? No. I just keep walking back and forth. Oh, is there another way that way? I didn't see. Holy shit. Oh, this way. I have not been this way. I walked right past this, and I did not even think about checking it out. Hmm? Huh. I can't go that way? Damn. Well, that was the, literally the only possible route. I feel like I did have to come up here though, right? I feel like this what I feel like I've not strayed too far from the path. Or if I have, this game is not doing a good job of what it's supposed to do. Which is convince me that I'm doing the right thing. Um Hmm. I have a great idea. How about I quit the game? And that's that's the end of my idea. How about I quit the game for now? And then um upcoming at 9 30 p.m 35 more minutes i'm gonna go take a break just for an itty bitty bit amount of time i'll see you guys around i'll be back in a little bit i'm gonna do this while i'm gone don't go anywhere, folks. We are taking a short break. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss another Amy Flower live stream. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. 
Abe. I have always had a strong personal interest in the life and legacy of Shinzo Abe for at least a few days or so. It was really sad when I heard he died. He was a good man, probably. I don't really know anything about him, but he didn't deserve to die, I think. He wasn't just a good prime minister, but a Japanese one. And now he's the only Japanese politician I know by name. And that's why he's my favorite Japanese politician. I may not have known the guy or any of his politics, but it's not right to call him a fascist. Yo, bro, cool, what the bro. fuck are you, you post doing? Posting you evidence of him being a Nazi. Fuck you fucking guy, you the guy fucking died. died. Have some fucking respect. All Americans should be very upset with the death of President Trump's Japanese friend. And those memes are a very major disrespect to the Republican Party. You see, the shooter made the gun himself. So even if you ban guns, there's still gonna be bad people out there who use guns illegally. That's why I say we should legalize bazookas. In this video, we're gonna teach you how to be a Sigma male. Step one, never take a shit. Keep your poop in your butt, you fucking beta male. Step two, saw both of your fucking legs off with a blade saw. Only real Sigma males can handle pain to that level. If you cry, then you might as well cut your penis off and put on a maid outfit, you fucking beta male. Step three, wear only maid outfits. Sigma males don't give a fuck about gender roles, bitch. Step four. Step five, suck a big fat cock. Top tier Sigma male nutrition comes from the big fat cocks of homies. Trying to let out a little bit of that delicious, succulent, cummy wummies. Mmm, delicious. A true Sigma male can take it in the ass and in the mouth, you fucking beta male. If you've watched this video to the end and you followed all the steps, then you truly are a submissive, I mean a Sigma male, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Fuck. Don't go anywhere, folks. We are taking a short break. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss another Amy Flower live stream. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. I love the rain. It's so nice. It's so calm. It's so relieving. I love when the humidity is right on my skin. It's just the perfect level of coolness. Feels very nice on my skin. Something about the sound of all those raindrops hitting the floor just... Mm, so inviting. I can't ever forget to mention those beautiful colors along the sky and, the, and just the world just looks beautiful. Whenever it rains, I just love to go out there with a nice cup of tea or coffee if it's the morning. Um, and bring out a nice smoke and just enjoy myself. It's my little paradise uh, at home. <laughs> anywhere folks we are taking a short break in the meantime subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss another Amy Flower live stream stay tuned we'll be back soon Abe. I have always had a strong personal interest in the life and legacy of Shinzo Abe for at least a few days or so. It was really sad when I heard he died. He was a good man, probably. I don't really know anything about him, but he didn't deserve to die, I think. He wasn't just a good prime minister, but a Japanese one. And now he's the only Japanese politician I know by name. And that's why he's my favorite Japanese politician. I may not have known the guy or any of his politics, but it's not right to call him a fascist. Yo, bro, cool, what the bro. fuck are you, you doing? That? Posting you evidence of him being a Nazi. The fuck fucking guy, the guy fucking died. died. Have some fucking respect. All Americans should be very upset with the death of President Trump's Japanese friend. And those memes are a very major disrespect to the Republican Party. You see, the shooter made the gun himself. So even if you ban guns, there's still gonna be bad people out there who use guns illegally. That's why I say we should legalize bazookas. In this video, we're gonna teach you how to be a Sigma male. Step one, never take a shit. Keep your poop in your butt, you fucking beta male. Step two, saw both of your fucking legs off with a blade saw. Only real Sigma males can handle pain to that level. If you cry, then you might as well cut your penis off and put on a maid outfit, you fucking beta male. Step three, wear only maid outfits. Sigma males don't give a fuck about gender roles, bitch. Step four. Step five, suck a big fat cock. Top tier Sigma male nutrition comes from the big fat cocks of homies. Try to let out a little bit of that delicious, succulent, cummy wummies. Mmm, delicious. A true Sigma male can take it in the ass and in the mouth, you fucking beta male. If you've watched this video to the end and you followed all the steps, then you truly are a submissive, I mean a Sigma male, motherfucker. 
Hell yeah! Fuck! Why is this Don't go anywhere, folks. We are taking a short break. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss another Amy Flower live stream. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. I love the rain. It's so nice. It's so calm. It's so relieving. I love when the humidity is right on my skin. It's just the perfect level of coolness. Feels very nice on my skin. Something about the sound of all those raindrops hitting the floor just... Mm, so inviting. I can't ever forget to mention those beautiful colors along the sky and, the, and just the world just looks beautiful. Whenever it rains, I just love to go out there with a nice cup of tea or coffee if it's the morning um, and bring out a nice smoke and just enjoy myself. It's my little paradise uh, at home. <laughs> Hello. I'm back. Oh, Joseph Alexander Simpson has joined the chat. Welcome, welcome. He says he likes my stream bit. Thank you. I preach. What else did you say? Gaming content is so hard to genuinely do. That is so true. That's so true. Um, ah, you know what we could start doing? <laughs> We could watch this entire movie. Of all the souls I've ever met on my travels, his was the most hearty. <laughs> his was the most hearty. Nice. What was that? This is like the worst video filter ever. Like, I don't know how this man is both overexposed and underlit at the same time. He's like, he's both overexposed and backlit at the same time. I don't know how you even did that. Oh my god. I knew this movie was gonna be white, but I didn't know it was gonna be that white. Oh, I should probably show what I was showing. Look at this. He throws a can of Quaker oats. There you go. And then this is when he's overexposed and backlit at the same time. I've never seen such an undefined specimen. And then this is one that... Ah! I was doing... That's the bit I was doing. Ah! It's so white. These are all just like JPEG images <laughs> of uh, Jupiter in space. Not the Quaker Oat! No! You're gonna destroy the universe if you throw the Quaker Oats into space. You should know that, Doug Walker. Channel Awesome presents. Liability wafers. I mean, to boldly flee. <laughs> a that guy with the glasses. Dot com production. 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 A Doug Walker film. 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 <gasps> oh my God! Wait, what does it say? <gasps> to boldly flee. Oh what? What? I didn't know that's what the movie was. Lindsay Alice, bless her heart. Lost, but not, never forgotten. Okay. I've never heard of most of these people. Hope Chapman. Bennett White, Luke Mockrie, Paul Schuler, 
Justin Carmichael. Hey, he killed himself. Did you know that? Like, it has nothing to do with this movie. And I don't really know the guy. So I have no, like, incredible feelings one way or the other. But I just always, like, when I watch this, I always think, like, wow, that guy is dead. My phone died. Wow, that guy is dead, you know? Like, damn. And I recognize him because he wears the Wario hat. That's like his gimmick, I guess. Bro, his name is Brian Hines. Like the company? Oh my god. He's so fucking cool. I just want to I just want his dick in my ass. Oh my god. He's so fucking hot. Wasn't it funny? He was upside down. He looked confused when that happened. Can we skip this? What is this? <gasps> <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I can hear fucking clips in the audio. Like, very clearly. I don't know if you can hear it without headphones, but I can very clearly hear, like, little pops. Like, what is obviously between, like, pieces of audio that were just fucking strewn together without a second thought. Oh my god, he's on a mission, guys. He's gotta go save the universe from the Quaker Oats. What the- Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey, what the fuck was that? No, hold on, rewind. What happened to your car? What? What is oh um, my What is that? Duct tape? Get out of here. Bye bye. Yeah, get out leave. Oh my god. <gasps> Critics lock, start date. Um Thursday. It's been one year since our battle with Malachi. We won. And yet I feel a certain unease. The death of Mati left a hole in my heart that can't be filled. The critics have returned to their jobs, and for them, life goes on. But for me, the house feels empty. Oh my god. Is that the angry video game nerd? Holy shit. Did you even pay royalties to him, you fucking asshole? He should get at least a 40% cut of the film. How wonderful to hear your voice! What have I done wrong? What? Well, it's just that whenever you contact one of your reviewers, it's easier to criticize them or to fire them. Please don't fire me, Mr. Critic! No, 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 it's not that. It's just... I just need somebody to talk to. Oh. Well, anything in particular? I don't know. It's just... You ever wonder what it's like to be forgotten? To be cast aside? Well, now that you mention it... I didn't think so. It's just... <laughs> tea, you know? I... I never thought I'd end up missing. What a nice guy Doug Walker is. Like writing himself to be the cool character and then writing the other characters to be at, to be like losers that suck and are cringe. You're probably feeling guilty. Nah, that's not it. Okay. I feel 
powerless. I mean, everything I do seems to have a negative impact on somebody. I, I just wish there was a way I could fix it. How? You dumped his ashes into an oatmeal can and then launched him into space. Yeah, that was a weird request in his will. Which you wrote... He would have wanted it that way. After his death... As I had to. In his blood... Well, if you had a pen. Critic, you don't have to come <laughs> to the fact that Matthias is part of that complete breakfast in the sky now. <sighs> Look, I can see him bothering you. Just go back to making reviews. Of course! And if you ever need someone to talk to again... Okay, that British guy wasn't too bad. Like, I feel like with the right direction, he could be really fucking funny. Who is he? I want to know. Hold on. Um... Why are they all doing the DreamWorks phase? Hold on. Oh, James Rolfe is in this. Huh. Spoiler. Jeez. Who is he? to know who is he who is he what's his name man is he funny funny Matthew Buck did you check Twitter yeah check your notifications Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Really? Why do you care? Wait, is this mega? Is this what ultra? What is the face he's making? Hold on. I like that he. Wait, changed. hold on, just a moment. I like that he changed his shirt. <laughs> it's so difficult. <laughs> now he, now he, now he's. Wait, hold on. We gotta meet up. We gotta meet up with him in the content. Is he funny? Wait for it. It's like that space balls bit where you just turned around. Uh oh. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Ow! You smacked the shit out of me. I'm gonna get naked on stream. <laughs> Kamikaze both the channels. Wait, is this mega? Anyway. Was he saying I'm upset? I'm obsessed? Is that what he said? No, he said I'm live or something. I don't know. Hold on. Tonight. Wait, oh. hold on, just a moment. <laughs> Why? Hold on. Really? We are live right now. <laughs> Wait, is this being broadcast? So now it's gonna broadcast. Yeah. This. Is he still doing it? Wait. It's still. <laughs> He's just gonna sit how far is this, How far is this gonna go? I'm out of here. I'm not. I don't want to find out what happens. You're gonna open up the fourth dimension. <laughs> I need something to drink anyway. Enjoy the. There you go. I'll do what Xander does. There he anyway. No, you said I'm live or something. I don't know. This is funny. This is hilarious. We're just starting the window inside of windows inside of windows. Wait, is this being broadcast? So now it's gonna broadcast. Yeah. Is he still doing it? Wait. It's still. <laughs> this is gonna sit how far is this, How far is this gonna go? I'm out of here. I'm not, I don't this is the joke! I'm finally glad you called on. <laughs> I need something to drink anyway. Anywho, we're gonna cut back to my feed. Uh, we're done there you go. I'll do reacting to these reactions. Um, so yeah, hold on. Let's cut back to my video.
Okay, I'm glad we're done. We're done with that. I thought that would be a fun little pre-show to hop in on. Um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are live tonight with a debate. Um, Amy Flowers is doing a commentary on it, so maybe... What's he saying? What's he, what's he got to say to me now? I'm so glad to be here. I'm so ready to start this thing off. Um, we'll be starting in about 15 minutes, uh, and I will see all, all of you guys... I think he's finishing up his stream. Let's continue. Anyway, no, no, back. No, 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 you can't. No, 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 you can't. You can't, you can't stop me once I've struck gold, Xander. Matthew Buck, we're on, we're back on track. Matthew Buck, film brain. Hello, on film brain. He's so old. From that website. Hey, do you like movies? I mean, do you really love movies? <coughs> well, if you do, you've come to the right That place. website. <laughs> Listen, there's a good chance somebody's trying to hack your website right now. You got this video is sponsored by Entertainment Earth. Hello and welcome to Projector. And on this episode, novelist Bryce Dallas Howard discovers that a spy stories are coming true in Matthew Vaughn's Argyle. Subscribe to Film Brain. Let's get back to it. Stop. The side. I got milk. Ashes into an oatmeal can and then launched him into space. Oh, yeah, that was a weird request in his will. Which you wrote. He would have wanted that way. After his death. As I had to. In his blood. Well, if you were a pet. Critically, I have to come to terms with the fact that Matee is part of that complete breakfast in the sky now. <sighs> Look, I can see him bothering you. Just go back to making reviews. Of course. And if you ever need someone to talk to again. Nostalgia critic? Yeah. You're under house arrest. What? Under what charges? No flipping way. Man. A complete disrespect to absolutely brilliant filmmaking. These are the crimes by the internet personality Nostalgia Critic. And I will not rest until he faces the cool hand of justice. Who are you? I am so last survivor of the once proud and mighty Cyclone Empire. And I need to prove that the Nostalgia Critic is a renegade and terrorist. Roll the footage. Not only is he responsible for the destruction of my home planet, but he also invaded the Micronation, stole valuable goods, and besmirched my cinematic masterpiece. What's even going on, man? Sometimes all you gotta say is, what the fuck, you know? Like, what's bro, what's bro wa waffling about right now? So this character is based off of some kind of parody character from one review a long time ago. And us as uh, that guy with the glasses.com production fans are just supposed to get it. Mr. Her. Whatever. From what I understand, your movie got 2% on Rotten Tomatoes. I demand justice. <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes. It's a moot point anyway. He didn't say tomatoes. They wrote tomatoes. The Judiciary Committee is all... I refuse to believe anyone in the entire world genuinely says the word tomatoes. ...already voted. When they pass the Sucka Bill... Sucka Bill? Stop the Unstoppable Copyright Killers Act. Reviewers like the Nostalgia Critic won't even be in business anymore. Then the critic goes unpunished. The Nostalgia... Also, this shot is blurry as fuck. I don't know if it's just low quality. It's clearly a green screen over this plastic cup in a fucking courtroom on a folding table, but the shot is Critic, blurry as fuck. And you can tell it's blurry because this is like way higher quality. I mean, this doesn't look great. I mean, it's it's not. He's as is just so you you know, it's not supposed to be obvious that they are in front of green screens. These are supposed. This is supposed to be the background of like a courtroom, and this is the judge. I I think. Um, but this looks better, like more appealing than the other shot. 1764 Let me go to Joseph Alexander Simpson. I just don't want to miss it if it started early. I'll just leave that open. Violations of the FCC regulations. FCC regulations? That's outrageous! 
Remember this well, stupid humans. There will be no peace between our planets as long as the nostalgic critic lives. I vow I will <coughs> This vow is brought to you by Energoda. It's not an energy drink, it's not a soda, it's Energoda. <laughs> what? It said this vow is... Did, did you just place a commercial over my dramatic speech? Cutbacks. The government sometimes gets extra money for advertisements. Well, how many times is that gonna happen? This question is brought to you by Energy Chips. They're not energy, they're not chips. Actually, yes they are. This is an abomination. These critics are consummate snowball artists. Uh, yes, sir. People think they're watching reviews. So they tune into these bozos who put on scatological rants filled with pop culture references. Some people might think you're overreacting. Some are... You know what he looks like? I don't mean to keep going, what does he look like? But, um... Ah, uh, hold on. See, now let's go on another tirade, look for another fucking moron. He looks like fucking, uh... This is an old video of, of Elon. Follow up. Um, I've been asking to speak to you now for two years. He looks like, bro looks like fucking... <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. I thought he wore a shirt like this, but the resemblance is uncanny. I mean, I know you're their sponsor and all, but... A lot of people don't see internet critics as a threat. These charlatans are threatening freedom and making it harder to protect our corporate oligarchies. Smurfs 2 may have to be cancelled. <laughs> and what about the Not other Smurfs 2. There could be Get it? Because Smurfs 2 is like a bad movie or something, or I don't know. What's the joke? <laughs> it was squeakles. Well, with all due respect, I think audiences disinterest inconceivable. Chipmunks eating poo is the epitome of high art. You paid someone to write that? I wrote it myself. Find this Turo fellow immediately. He may be of some use to us. Now to draft some internet policy. Oh, I can't turn it on. Someone call the IT guy. I know I can't turn it on. No, really, I don't know where the on button is. Really? It would have been funny if he was like, I need to turn on this TV. Could someone help me get the tech guy? And then he picks up the phone. He's like, I don't know how to use this. <laughs> really? Emer emergency meeting, guys. Emergency meeting. S somebody wake up, Joe. This is an emergency meeting of the Space Research Oh, my God. Call. CR, present. Oh, my God. So they got all these guys in on a fucking Skype call with no prompt other than... Just act like you're tired and wake up. Bye, guy, present. Angry Joe? Ready to kill you. And let this meeting commence. Ask yourself for Fidelis. 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 Yeah, uh, what they said. Okay, since we started the Space Research Committee, we have had one goal in our minds. To get rich? No, to boldly find what no man has found before. And get rich off it. And for all the time we spent, night after night, what have we encountered? Rocks. Rocks. A shitload of rocks. Then there was that thing that you thought was a UFO? But that was a rock. Well, take a listen to what I heard today. Holy shit. Guys. It's a shitty kick drum. Okay, I am running a scan. If I can use my satellite That's the sound that he was hearing in the beginning. Were we supposed to assume that that wasn't just part of the soundtrack? Uh, all preliminary scans check. This is legit. <laughs> all preliminary scans checked. This is legit. The gravitational pull has to be stupendous. Whatever it is. <laughs> stupendous. Okay, tracking complete. Source point is confirmed as Jupiter. Oh. <gasps> Yeah. Jupiter. Uh, is it me or does it look like it's getting bigger? <gasps> oh my god. What could it be? ADT. Se secured by ADT. Is that a sponsor? Did they get paid for that? Stop 
it, bracelet! Hello? Is that him when he's acting? When is me when my phone goes off? <laughs> oh, you may have evaded intergalactic law, Crash Brain, but you've not evaded me. Mom, have you been drinking again? It's Turl! Who? Turl! You did a review of my movie! You blew up my planet! You practically destroyed my entire species! Who? Turl, your arch nemesis! T U double R E double L. Know what that spells? Digger. Turl! Oh, you're the dick that got me under house arrest. I have to wear this stupid ass bracelet because of you. It's the least you deserve. Whoa. Is that in the original cut? Oh, you're the dick that got me under house arrest. I have to wear this stupid ass bracelet because of you. It's the least you deserve, rat brain. Where are you calling from, anyway? My ship, of course. Not quite what is happening? Is your home, but this will suffice until I see you in your day in court. Yeah, and when's that? Uh, last I looked, 20 years. What the fuck? Why so long? Apparently, they thought the case wasn't very important. Or they thought you weren't very important. Does he believe you're an alien? You look like Coolio, trick-or-treating as Jack Sparrow. Oh, so that's how it is. Well, I will make you pay for destroying my life. Consider this my vow. I will not rest until your body is in ashes. Oh, there's no place high alone. Uh, every what could every be up the stairs in my own every house? Fart every stream! Follow every rainbow! Hey, listen, can you legally do anything to me? No. <laughs> Okay, okay. Guys, guys. As cringe as the production and writing in the show may be, like, in the grand scheme of things, Doug Walker can be funny. He is possible. It is possible for him to be funny. Can you legally do anything to me? No, why? for the other movies. <laughs> what the fuck? Critic. Matisse. That sound like Matisse? It sounded like a, a young woman's voice. Critic. <laughs> Matisse. Matisse. If I heard a, a woman's voice in my basement when I knew that I was the only person home, I don't think my initial reaction to hearing them go, like, Amy, I don't think I would be like, oh my god, it's my long lost friend that died years ago. For my body, find the hole. Okay, there is no way I am reaching for your hole. The hole, it's coming. Please say no more about your coming hole. <laughs> remember, remember. What do I even say about this? See, I'm just waiting for this th shit to start. We are waiting for Joseph Alexander Simpson. We need to hear. So, uh, oh, the preliminary to this debate, by the way. Um, so Joseph Alexander Simpson. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna do this during the podcast, so I'll just do it briefly. Joseph Alexander Simpson said at, on Twitter recently that he, at first, he was skeptical about uh, artificial intelligence (AI), but then he discovered that he could use it as a tool for creativity, as he says. I don't know if that's the exact quote, but that's basically what he was saying. He using it as a tool to enhance creativity. And then Drake is like, no, AI is actually cringe and bad. And you shouldn't use it to do um, personal creative endeavors because it takes away from the creative process. And it takes away artistic integrity. And uh, um, 
genuineness, if that's a word. So that's what you need to know about the debate. That's what that's what either side believes. I tried presenting their ideas in a uh Huh? I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway. So that's my preliminary. That's what I that's my description of how what they what they believe where this debate is skewed from. Um, maybe Xander will roll out with some crazy points and just leave Z D Drake Dra Dragsaw YouTuber Drake Dragsaw completely speechless, just ruining him in the marketplace for ideas. Or maybe um, Z Xander will shit himself. Um, those are possibilities for this, actually. Either of those are just as likely as each other. I can hear him back there. Oh, I'll be right back. So, Polly, otherwise known as Drake Dragsaw, is in the other room. He's about a um, because I heard him talking loudly. I didn't know if they started it and forgot to press the streaming button because that has happened. Um, that wouldn't be Polly's fault though. <laughs> Also, most of this audio mixing is on the left channel right now. My left ear is getting a lot of this right now. Let's go! What are these comments under the, the, the stream? What was that? Did you see that? What was I looking at? Huh? Let's see what Joseph Alexander Simpson is streaming. You think he made this face? Just so you could take the screenshot? Like he went like, and then like without anyone noticing, he like pressed the screenshot button. Stop sub xing me. What's up? I'll wait. This might not work. Okay, so Jamelin just called me and said that they need me to pick them up. Yeah? I don't know what the hell happened. So I mean So you're so you're so, so you're I'm, pussying out of the debate. I'm pussying out of the debate. Are you Are you actually the in the debate? Oh uh, I said I could delay for an hour. They were like, can you bring Amy on the mic? Oh, okay. I'll just stream the stream. This was my friend. I'll be back. I'll just leave this on. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you with some kind of unfortunate news. Uh, we will be having to delay this live stream uh, by an hour. 
uh, this evening uh, due to some issues that are going on, um, and we will be seeing you guys very shortly. Sorry about the delay.
Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, yeah. And also, I'm watching the. No. You're completely silent. Maybe it's when you're toggling those things. Haha! -ha. Here we are! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the uh, Joseph Alexander Simpson YouTube channel. Uh, I am being joined today with a guest. We're having some technical issues. Uh, in addition to waiting on Drake, he had a commitment come up um, spontaneously. So he'll be back soon. But as for right now, we are. I am here with a guest. Let me cut to... Hey, there we go. There we go. It it's just on screen. Yeah, I know. I... I pulled you away from just the camera view and put you on the stream view. Um, Amy's joining me in Drake's uh, in Drake's absence. Um, our guest moderator, who nobody knows who he who they are yet, um, is not here. And yet. no one will know until the debate hat, and then he pops in. Yeah, that's kind of the whole vibe. That's kind of the whole vibe. I was gonna go on screen like this and be like, "Oh, hold on, that's your camera. Or that's." the debaters came hold on there we go so i was gonna go on stream like this do my talking head and then i'll cut to me and me and drake i introduce drake and then from there after that i'll cut to me and the person and hand it off to them they'll take back over with it and then uh whoever's talking will be on screen with them either me or drake uh and then so you're, you're working technical director i am working technical director today i that's yeah, I have a whole system set up for this, um, and then whenever all three of us are on camera, it'll look like this. Um, right. Yeah. <clears throat> and you can expect this from my streams going forward, everybody, because this is kind of the vibe that I'm going with um, going forward. So who knows? I'm, I'm doing streams until, until the last few episodes of 52 Weeks. I know that much, 
Um, because the last episodes of 52 weeks are going to be a whole week um, of content. Spoiler alert. Um, so yeah, that's it's it's going to be interesting. Um, I've Our been house going... is a fucking mess. I wish you cleaned up a little bit before you started streaming with you. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I prefer I prefer lived in instead of um, true. Instead of whatever it was that you said, messy. You said messy. Yeah. So yeah, I even got a button here that will like play the intro, and then right after the intro is done, it will take us off off the stream or the outro, not the intro. So we got full technical director speed right here. Like a few buttons, a few buttons, and that's uh oh hold on camera flipped never mind never mind. So yeah. Put it on your phone? No, I have it on a little tablet. My phone! You're currently watching my or phone. Or a tablet. Right yeah, I have I'm it on a little tablet. I'm watching your phone. You're watching my phone right now, yeah. That's crazy. That's how I've been doing all of my streams. I was explaining... Were you in here whenever I was explaining that I put my audio on a separate channel? Uh, what do you mean a separate channel? So, it has its own video source on this, uh, the website that I sent everybody to. Um, my audio is going through this, which is going to a computer, which is going to the website, which I'm streaming through a server. It's really awesome. There's like 18 different pieces of technology, which really sucks whenever things go, uh, bad during a stream. I think one of the, one of the, the stream where you couldn't hear me, I had to test like each step of the way to see if that was it. And ultimately I just had to like refresh the tab that was that my audio was going through so yeah it's interesting beep, 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 beep. we are waiting on break it will probably be about 10 30 before we go on air i was told so yeah it takes some 20 minutes to get to the place you need to get to 20 minutes back yeah so we're we're going we're going um we're just gonna be here chilling. You know what? We can. I don't think I have it set up. Debate me in the meantime. Debate me on anything at all. No, I I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, who was that? Was that you? That was me. That was me last. Sound like a different. Sound like a different person for a second. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I do that sometimes. Why do you think Drake accused me of having multiple personalities? To be fair, the character that I'm playing because on 52... you do. No. To be fair, the character that I'm playing on Fifty Two Weeks is like really, um, really, pretty much has multiple personalities. Right. So that's fair. I'm seeing if I can switch this to your feed. I just love that in your wardrobe you have a have a t-shirt with your face on it. <laughs> I haven't worn that and I don't even know how long. I lie awake at night thinking of how many people have seen you in that shirt, looked at the shirt and then looked at you and been like, oh shit, they're the same person. Yeah, no, I, I have never worn that in public. I generally, some of the stuff I'll wear in public, like if it doesn't have my name or face on it, so like the sketch shirts, um, I'll wear mm. those. Um, but yeah, no, it's different, different things. If you guys are joining us, uh, for the first time now, uh, I figure I need to preface this, uh, several times. We are waiting on Drake. He had some, uh, some things come up, so we will be live with the debate probably about 1030. Um, and we have the special guest is currently not here anymore. Um, even if they were, you don't get to know who they are until the stream starts. Uh, they have a connection with me and Drake. We've done, Both of us have done videos with them. I will give you that hint, and that'll be the only hint that I give you. It's Steve Harvey. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Maybe it's Scott Henson. Perhaps. Who knows? Maybe I just ruined the surprise and it's Scott Henson. Maybe it's... Nobody knows. Maybe it's uh, Aiden Dunn. Maybe it's maybe, maybe it's, it's the, done, yeah. Maybe it's bronze show. Bronze, oh yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, maybe, it's, funny maybe it's Amy. Maybe it's Amy. Maybe maybe it's me this whole time. Maybe I'm. <laughs> Who could it be? Um. I love this. I love that nobody has. Maybe like... maybe it's you guys the have antagonist. I love you guys. Ooh, that would be interesting. I hate that I didn't think about that. It would be funny if, like, during the plot of Fifty Two Weeks, we were like. We're doing a debate. You just, you just, you just re- decide to do like a formal debate. See, the fu- the funny <laughs> thing is, the funny thing is, like, the character is so connected to me, and everybody's like, "Is, is are you not the character?" I'm like, kind of. It's kind of like a fictionalized version of myself. Mm. I don't know. Because everybody asks that question, like, "Is the person in the short films? Is the person in in Fifty Two Weeks? Is that you?" They're the same person, but they're not me. Um, kind of. They they kind of are me. Goes back to the multiple personality thing, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this debate. Um, I think that I'm excited for you. Yeah, I think this is going to be an interesting piece of content. Whenever I went on my like my video schedule and I was adding this to my list of streams, because I I basically have like a calendarized list of every video I'm going to make for the rest of the year. Hopefully, I can finish them up ahead of time so i can start on next year early um but i uh yeah i had to put in like a special title for this like it has data validation on the thing and i couldn't even type in the debate so i had to like copy and paste it in so i don't think it's going to be a regular piece of content it might down the line who knows maybe i'll be the moderator for debates um maybe because i've noticed how hard this is how hard it's going to be to both be on technical director side, but the moderator is different, and <laughs> so if Logan says something and I don't hit the uh, I don't hear the cue in time, I'm going to miss the button to press. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. If you're just now joining us, we are waiting on the stream to begin. It's this is like whenever they do what is it? Like news stations, whenever they're about to air like a press conference or something, and they're waiting for it to begin, and they constantly repeat the same message right. over and over. But if you guys are just now joining us, please don't leave. Please don't. Well, you can leave, but come back about 10, 10 15, 10 30, please. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we had the me and me and the, I almost said their name. That would not have been fun. Me the and, and the special the, guest. The antagonist? The antagonist. Is that what it is? Ooh. Me and the special guest both had to like on the fly be like hey let's um let's let's have to let's wait um luckily they were available uh, to to come back through otherwise amy would have been our moderator uh, probably if it isn't already amy uh who knows this person was called at like four no it was like five thirty this afternoon and i was like hey do you want to like be a moderator on this thing and they're like i guess so we'll, we'll see who it is. We'll see who it is. Maybe I had to pay Scott Henson 50 bucks because that's what I've had to do every time he's appeared on my channel. I've had to pay him 50 bucks for each appearance. Um, one time I got a double appearance out of him, but I don't think he realized that it was going to be a double appearance. Um, he thought it was going to be used for the same video I did. <laughs> he isn't watching. I don't even think he watched the videos he was Why in don't... either. So <laughs> why don't you do the full force podcast anymore? I want to return to it after. So my original goal with the content was to do come back for 52 weeks, air just 52 weeks up through until 52 weeks ended. And then I would come back on and finish up the rest of my old content and get back in the groove of things. But I decided otherwise, I was, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and start making content for the new year. I'm not starting the Xander Brand stuff yet because there's we're working on that too. Um, so with the merger that just happened with my channel and the Xander Brand stuff, we had to, I had to just go ahead and start on content so that I could start a portfolio again. And then essentially what happened was I was like, hey, I want to do something whenever 52 weeks ends. And I want to talk about like the process of 52 weeks. Just like I don't think I was, I don't think I've announced this yet, but there's going to be, fingers crossed, an episode of Being Xander that's going to also air after it ends. Um, yeah, fun. Uh, there will be an episode of Being Xander that'll air after it ends, um, and we will 
it's going to kind of recap everything that we've done, because I've been filming a little bit behind the scenes of 52 Weeks since, the big, since like, Logan and Aiden came on along. Um, and so, yeah, I think that... Uh, I think that it's going to make a good piece of content. Like, I'm not talking about this until until it finishes up and I can actually talk about the exact um, process and everything. And then I can talk about, in that same episode, I might be able to talk about, like, my return to making content, um, how I got the idea to set the studio up, um, which, for those of you that don't know, I now film in the shed that 52 Weeks was filmed in at the beginning. Um, but, yeah. Because the original goal was... 52 weeks was supposed to end with it was going to end with me returning back to content making um, and obviously it's not going to happen that way now but the shed was going to foreshadow me being in a studio um, the bike ride is going to be re-mentioned again which is why there's an episode of me just riding a bike and then credits for three fourths of it um because at the end of the day, everything's going to be squashed into one full cut. So, um, episodes that are short are short because they're just like one tiny scene in that total overall picture. Why don't you just make a movie then? That's kind of what I've been doing. That's kind of what I'm doing overall. After I add everything together, it'll be a full length film. Um, so. It'll be longer than a full-length film. I mean, a minute. Work. I'm cutting down some of it, um, and I might work with uh, Logan Allred. I just mentioned him earlier. I might work with Logan Allred on cutting it because he's he does a lot of directing and editing. Um, so maybe I bring him along to the for the journey of making it into a full-length film. Um, who knows? But yeah, so. I'm really excited for this to kick off. If you guys are just joining us, <laughs> if you guys are just joining us, please stay or come back about in about 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes. Uh, Drake Dragsaw will be back on. Our special guest moderator will be back on. It might be Amy. It might be Amy. We don't know who it is yet. Um, so please feel free to stick around or join us. Me and Amy are talking about my channel. Um, I'm moving my hands around, flailing them. Uh, we are... We're here. We're doing this. Uh, please, please stick around. I cannot wait for what's going to happen on this stream. Um, I am excited, for sure. And boy, am I also excited. I can't wait for the two boys. Those boys being Joe and Paul. I can't wait for those Joe buddies. And Paul. I can't wait for those <laughs> those little scoundrels. What what the, what what are they gonna get up to next? Who knows? Yeah, and you know this things. might kick off like us working together a little bit more. Who knows? I might Maybe. appear on an episode of Degeneracy once the ban is lifted on me. Who knows? Um, Maybe. Yeah, it, that seal's already been broken. I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll uh. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? Nice. Who knows? We are we are here. We're waiting on Drake. Uh, he had some things come up, but we we are here and we're gonna go. We're gonna be going live here soon uh, with a special guest uh, special guest moderator. I almost forgot what that thing is called. It's a moderator. Um, with a special guest moderator, we're 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 things are kicking up. Things are kicking up. Who knows what's gonna happen? I like how I keep saying that. Who knows what's gonna happen? Um, you know what? We're gonna. Amy's gonna watch video. A video. Hold on. I'm gonna. Watch I can do that. Yes, I can do that. I can put you on to watching a video. Hold on. Hold on. So now you're watching watch your own watch stream, which is watching us. Um. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll, uh, oh, I need to like. I wish my web. I wish my webcam was on the. Over here. Because then I could. I could do it. <laughs> you'd be like, you're about to say this thing. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, well, let me let me see. I can pull anything up. Hold on. Oh yeah, I did. Do the um. Do the um. The lady falling off the ladder. Okay. Okay. 
the lady falling off a ladder again. <laughs> again. No, well, no, no, it's not again, just... Oh. It's a video that we frequently watch. It's a bit on DeGeneres U Live. Oh. You so I should steal it. a bit? So you're telling me to steal a bit from... Yeah, like, I'm telling you to steal... Company? I'm telling you to steal our content. In yeah, fact, what you know. should do is you should download every episode of DeGeneres U Live. <laughs> And, and just then re-upload and just re-upload it to your YouTube channel, yeah. But replace yeah. like, put, like do a deep fake and like replace Polly's face with like with mine. <laughs> Grape lady. Grape lady? No, that's not the one. Okay, hold on. No way. I'm curious though. What is Grape lady? It says Grape Stomping Lady Falls. Oh yeah, that one's good too. Have you seen that one? <laughs> no, I haven't. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna watch it right it's here great. on air. Give me it's one second, let me load it video. in here. Let me load it in here, and we'll have it ready to go. We're watching it. I hope I hope it's playing right now. It's not. Um, oh, yes it is. Oh my god, why is it not in the corner These like that? These are filled with Chamber Syndrome, and video. the winner this Saturday who stopped music, eating international food, having wine tours and tastings, vineyard tours, seminars, arts and crafts. It's a lot of fun, a whole day. Stop! That one's funny. That one's not bad. And then she fucked you in the dog. That one's not bad. You're never to ne never to be seen again, lost in the grapes. I wish I had a way for you to also hear that. The way I have it set up, it's just a. I heard it a little bit. It probably was seeping out of my headphones. But yeah, there was no way to um. There was no way to actually. Well, I could have screen shared like I was doing whenever I was watching stuff. Um, but, you know. Sometimes I didn't think this would happen. I was like, yeah, I have everything set up, ready to go. Like, it's gonna, the production's gonna flow really smoothly, and it didn't. Um, <laughs> I thought I would be the issue. I thought, I thought I would be the issue here, but I'm not. So that's, that's the good part. This is also the first time that I've tested... Uh, the website that I'm using to share our videos. This is the first time I'm actually testing it with other people, so um, I'm glad it works. I'm glad it works. Where is the uh, the secret moderator? Where is he? Right I'm now? waiting for them to hop back in. They'll be back in, hopefully before Drake comes back, because um, then I'll have to delay again to wait on them. Um, who knows? It could be... We don't know. It could be Amy. They could be here right now already. Who knows? Maybe it's Xander. Maybe Xander is. Maybe moderating. I am the moderator. That's a wonderful theory. That's the plot. That's the plot. I am so self-obsessed. I'm moderating my own debate. Um, yeah. Who would have yeah. thought? Who would have thunk it? I am moderating my own debate. Hold on. I can do something funny. I'm gonna do something funny. Hold on. No, I. Yes, I can. I'm gonna do something. Funny. <laughs> I was like, I can't do. Yeah, I can. This is something I can do. Give me a second. All right, it's just me now, right here on the stream. Uh, Amy is chasing after a cat, I think. I saw this, hold on. I'm looking at this image on Twitter. It says strong chin, I can't get this on, hold on. Strong chin versus weak chin. I'm seeing if my cat has a strong chin or a weak chin. Show me your chin. He's got a pretty strong chin. And by strong, I mean weak. Weak chin. Look at the beard. Look at her. Do you see her? I do, I do see her. She's saying, she's saying, ah, uh, ah. Uh, she's saying, oh. she's saying, I'm so excited to watch the debate. Between Dwayne Dragstar and Xander. I am too. Well, I'm not watching she, it, but she's saying I'm I, excited myself, actually. She's saying I am the secret moderator. I'm the secret moderator of the We have eight views right now. That's crazy. We have eight views watch eight views right now. Nobody's in chat though. Get in the Say chat. something Start to the people. To Say something to the people. I don't have like a chat element on the screen, but I mean, you know, I can still read it. It's right here on the broadcasting panel. Um, I've got it. 
we have like zero latency so like it, it should take like two seconds to send a message mm -hmm. for us to see it <laughs> so which to be fair putting drake on my channel i probably should have put a delay on it um but you know things happen a delay so. yeah where I could like, you know how like TV stations and radio stations have like the button that they can press to kill the last oh. 30 seconds? Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to have something set up where you could do that in case I brought guests on. Would have been great for like Omegle, if Omegle was still around. Because then whenever people whip their dick out, you know, I could press the button, dump the last 15 seconds, 30 seconds, um, and just cut to just a feed of me laughing at them. I mean... Right. But I'd have to be really careful, though, because if, if I messed up that that button one time and I showed a dick on stream, I'm gone. For so. Sure. Um, yeah. Just like right now on stream, if Drake drags all ripped his pants off whenever he comes back, I couldn't do anything about it. I don't think I'll do that. <laughs> I don't think so either. Um, but you never know. There's, there's a less, there's, there's a greater than 0% chance that it will. See, um, so if you, if Drake, if Drake has a YouTube channel and he, and he does something promiscuous on your channel, I'm pretty sure it makes both of you liable and both of you can be banned. Could we both? I don't so think for the sake if he was streaming it. No, but he's like on your I'm not sure, I guess, but because sometimes when people be get, because one... sometimes when people get banned on like YouTube or Twitch, and then they go on other people's YouTube or Twitch videos, um, that is against terms of service. And I wonder if it's the same way, the opposite. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same for like, um, I don't know if it's the same on YouTube, because I know that's a Twitch thing, but I don't know if it's the same on on YouTube. I don't know. Guest moderator is not here yet. We are still waiting on Drake. It's, it's a good pre-stream. doing this if you guys are just now tuning in i'm doing this um thing i'm telling you guys this over and over again um we are currently waiting on drake he had some things come up uh our guest uh moderator had some things come up uh, maybe this person right here is our guest moderator we don't know uh we seriously have no clue who this guest moderator well i know who it is and i think amy knows who it is but i have no clue i don't know who could it be. <laughs> But yeah, so we're just we're waiting on Drake to come back, and we'll uh, we'll be kicking back into a debate. I've never done a debate before, so who knows? This could be this could be something interesting. I I could shit my pants on stream. True. Don't take my bit. That's my bit. <laughs> <laughs> I th I thought it'd be funny, you know, to to take your bit there. Um, That's fine. But no, we don't know what could happen. I think it's. I think it's more likely that I'll shit my pants than Drake drags all shitting his pants. Um, I have no good opening arguments. Um, I'm saying this now that he's not here. Uh, I came prepared for this on the technical director side of things. I have uh, a thing here that allows me to press buttons, uh, courtesy of Xander Brand Digital, which owns all of this equipment uh, that I that I have here. But I have buttons here. I can make. Uh, I can show all of the cameras, uh, even whenever the guest is here. I can just show me and Amy. I can show Amy. Oh, that's me. I can just show Amy. I can just show me. I mean, you know, th these buttons work wonders. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this debate. 
We are we are kicking hey. into nine. <laughs> now. I'm back. Um, Go watch the, the stream. That's where I'm at. Ever seen. Um, and Polly, Polly should probably be back any minute now. Yeah. So we're, we're, we'll all see what happens. I'm gonna go check my phone actually to make sure he didn't message me or anything. I'll be back in a minute. All right, we are now cutting to just me as we can there go. do. Oh, I should probably turn this off. Uh, we're here. We're doing a thing. Or no, um, I don't turn it off. All who right. Who knows what's gonna happen? Who knows who? I'll see you in a bit. We're waiting on Drake Dragsall and our mystery guests. Um, we just had Amy here with us. Um, they are currently busy at the moment, uh, checking to make sure Drake did not message them. And um, yeah, so I'm I'm excited for this. I think that. I think this is going to be interesting. Um, I've never done a debate before, as I said before. I feel like I'm in the news because I'm repeating this and repeating this, but I've never done a debate before. I'm doing this pre-show, so maybe, um, maybe, who knows, right? So Drake had the ability, while he was going to do whatever he's going to do, Drake posted on the Degeneracy account. Okay, Amy's back. Drake, I don't, was it a scheduled, do you know if it was a scheduled post that Drake just posted on the Degeneracy account an hour ago? I don't know, I don't know what post you're talking about, I'm about to find out. <laughs> it's wish, wishing, wishing Bronze a happy birthday. You know what? Oh, it's no, 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 of... he was, he was doing that while, while waiting okay, for okay. the stream. I saw him make so, it in real time. Bronze could be the guest. It is his birthday. It is his birthday. I should so Bronze... say happy birthday to him. I'll do that Bronze too. could be the guest. Bronze could be the guest. You know what? If Bronze is watching this, which I doubt he is, he's probably celebrating his birthday by not being a loser like us um, and being True. on my stream. True. Uh, so <laughs> if he's watching, if he wants to hop in and chat with us, I mean, you know. We had a know? weird fourth wall break moment for a second because I, when I got up to go check um, – my phone. I forgot that I was streaming in the other room. Oh my still. gosh! I forgot. So about you that just too. see you just see me leave the screen and then show up on the other <laughs> screen. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Yeah, we're 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 vibing right now. We're waiting on Drake Dragsaw. He currently had some things come up. Um, I'm here. Amy's here in Drake's place. Our guest could possibly already be here. Could be Amy. We me me and Amy have been talking. Could be me. Amy could be the guest. This was maybe, all maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Um, if our guest doesn't show back up in time, I guess Amy will be our <laughs> guest. <laughs> if it's not already Amy, um, who knows? See, the funny thing is, if the guest doesn't show up, everybody's going to assume that it already was you. So, you know, it's a good bit. I, I think it's a good I'm bit. I'm locked into, okay. Who knows who's gonna be here? We oh, hey, I have my Twitter account on here. Oh, shit. I can scroll Twitter from here. <laughs> yeah, that's how computers work. You can be logged into multiple places. It's wonderful. I didn't need to log in. I was already one of like the established accounts. I didn't know that. Uh, that would worry me. I would think that I would be worried. I mean, I guess you don't really have to worry about it, but like, I would be worried that Drake would post some stuff from your account. You might want to log out. No. <laughs> because I also have his accounts. Like I don't. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. We live in the same house. If he really, really wanted to, he could just. Yeah, that's computer. true. That's true. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, we're on stream. I can play Mario Kart right now. Hold on. I should have done this a while ago. I don't know why I did it. Um, but I mean, you know, I could, I can get on here and play Mario Kart real quick. I think everything's hooked up for me to be able to do it. Um. No, it's not, because I'd have to do another browser source. I can figure something out. Hold on. <laughs> I can do something. Okay. Uh, we can now switch to audio source. Input to what? Okay. 
Okay. We uh, it's not letting me join in with the with the video feed of the Switch. That sucks. No. Yeah, I was gonna play we'll some Mario some, Kart right here. We'll just um, do some commentary as if you are playing Mario Kart, and we'll all just. Oh wow! Look, we have another cup, guys. We'll just imagine in our minds that you are playing it yeah. on screen. That's true. We'll, that's true. We'll manifest the Mario Kart Let's Play. Yeah, that works. That works. That's just as good, right? True. Yeah. I think it's going to let me now. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to do a thing. You know, usually I'd, I'd like totally... I totally, like, take digs at degeneracy for not being ready. Um, but, you know, this time I will um, but, you know, who cares? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Switch got turned off, I think. Okay, yeah, that's 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 what caused the issue. This whole time. Well, not this whole time. There were some other things that caused it issues. But... Um, and then I'm going to copy this link. Oh, that's not the one. That's the right one. Copy this link. Paste this one into the stream. And... Hold on, camera, you're on camera three. Look at that. Amy's on the stream watching me play Mario Kart if these controllers were correct. <laughs> I don't have a setup that features both camera two and camera three, so. <laughs> yeah, we're now playing Minecraft, or Ma Minecraft. We're now playing Minecraft. Mario Kart live on air um, because, you know. Why not? Mario Kart. Did you get today? all CC cups? I got all the 50 C all the regular I got all the regular 50 CC cups. I haven't got all the DLC 50 CC cups. But that one stream I was doing I had so many technical issues I couldn't finish out the cup like I wanted. Damn. So I don't think we I don't think it's playing audio. Yeah, Polly. Polly should be here any minute. Okay, good. Cause then I, maybe I won't have to play Mario Kart on air. <laughs> you already <laughs> are, man. Keep yeah, it that's grooving. true. That's true. That's true. The some some people out here do the debate and do Mario Kart at the same time. That's yeah, get on their level. Be, that's not gonna be me. <laughs> you know what, let's play some more 50 CC. Um, I'm not supposed to show you guys some of the others I've already completed because they're gonna be in future videos. <laughs> That's why I wasn't planning on doing any more of these until after some of those aired, but you know, we're 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 changing up we're changing things up. Maybe I chose Fruit Cup because Aiden's gonna be the guest and it's a, it's a nice reference to his nickname. I don't know. Who knows? I love this. I love, I love this tool because I can do stuff like this. <laughs> you know, I also just realized because I had copied and pasted the scene, you're like halfway off the uh, little box that it's supposed to be in. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. I put a lot of thought into this, except for the things I knew wouldn't matter, which ended up mattering. So I was like, I don't need it. I don't need a third person watching a video. I'm not even showing you. Yeah, and now I am. So. Why are you asking me what happened? It's just a hot button. I'm doing all right right now. Is he back? <laughs> Polly's back. Oh look at that! Polly's back. Uh, Greg Dragsaw's back, everybody. Oh hey. Um, I just muted it. You're good. You're good. They can't hear you. They can't hear you. We're good. They can't hear you. I'm just on camera right now with uh, no video feed beside me. 
Uh, give me a thumbs up if you're ready for me to turn your camera and audio back on. Great. Give me a thumbs up. Sorry, I didn't. I wasn't looking. I was playing Mario Kart. Okay. Cool. I didn't know if there was an emote I had to click or something like on the Zoom. No, no, we're not doing that. Are we on the air right now? We are on the air right now. Me and I was just playing Mario Kart while Amy watched on there for a little bit. Um, we Logan. are waiting for la, 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 la. don't say the name. Nobody knows who it is. Um, you just you just gave it away, man. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> the whole time. You didn't you tell died. me it was supposed to be a secret. You revealed the secret fucking death! You didn't tell you me it was secret! Idiot. Maybe people missed or, it. Okay? Or maybe it isn't. Maybe people missed, Woo! missed what you did. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll gonna see. Hello. Oh, we're not doing that. Are we on uh, the air right now? We are on the air right now. It isn't. Ah, he turned the stream off. You go. You all saw it though. You all saw it. I'll be back. I'm gonna go say hi to people. All right, well, we're still waiting on them. Classic photo. This is a really high quality photo of Xander, actually. This is probably the most high quality. Whoa, where did this quality come from? You notice? That? Like where? I don't know if it's just that he's been minimized, so the resolution looks better by comparison, but that's a high res image of Xander, which further, for I'm gonna clean up my room a little bit while I wait for a stream to happen. Cause my room is a fucking mess. And Lord knows that I could do with a little bit of my best. I got mad at playing the drums earlier, so I broke this drumstick.
there. Ba 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 da 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 da. What did he say in my chat? That son of a bitch. Fucking go live already! I should go take my medication actually. Wait, wait. All right, guys. So I'm moderating this debate now because the moderator was a no-show. Who would have thought that you can't get someone to moderate a debate? Um, like, on the spot immediately right now. It's crazy. Anyway. Let me turn, let me go to web focus. Okay. When is this debate fucking happening? Fucking give me the link or whatever! Oh. I'm fucking waiting on you, bitch. Why Twitter? Why Twitter? Do it on Discord. You've never, literally never messaged me on Twitter before. 
Don't join with my super secret link, please. Join room with camera. Huh? No audio source? Hello, hello, hello? There's no audio source? Huh? Oh, I have to allow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, do that. How do I join this? I've never done this before. Oh shit. Can I do virtual camera? No! I'll just do no video. Whatever. Okay, how about this? Uh, okay, okay. Is there no way I can have the camera on and two different things? Be careful, it's sharing the screen. Start virtual webcam. Will that work? Oh shit. Oh, you just installed it? That was quick. Go virtual camera. Refresh, refresh. Always bet on the Chinese. Hmm. Am 
Why do you even need a moderator? Just do the debate. I don't. I mean, it's he needs a special guest. Why? Who cares? Does he think you're gonna kill him? If there's no mo moderation. I don't want to do. I feel like I'll be upset if I just say the thing. Do you need to close out the browser and do it? What do you mean? For what? Like close out the window and then reopen the window and... Maybe. Can I sit? Yes. Open it in a new window. See if that works. Open the link in a new window? Yeah. wrapped up webcam I have. There we go. We're gonna use this for the motherfucking bullshit. Oh, hey, there it is. Oh, wow. Wow. As soon as I plug that in, it... Okay. Anyway. Eight hours? Eight hours? How long have I been streaming for? Oh, my God. Oh, my God! I... Oh my god! Yeah, just to include this, so. You know. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I would, like, we would be on the road. Let me call him. Let me call him. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, see if you can get in touch with him. Why am I muted? Do you have his phone number? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let me. Give me a second. Make sure you're not live. We're not, we're not live. <laughs> hilarious. Share his number over there. Not do it. Uh, Why am I muted? Why oh, did Amy get in? Is Amy muted? Hey, yo, there you go. She's not muted now. You're not muted anymore. I'm gonna do this. still want his number. Yeah. 336-264- Nine three two nine. All right, let me call him. I don't know what this camera looks like. I've never used it before. But it's a webcam that we happen to have in our possession. There we go. That works. Look at that. Laggy as hell, but it works. I can't reach him. It's nothing personal, then. Yeah, that's what I was worried about at first. I was like, maybe he just doesn't want to do it anymore. Maybe he just fucking hates you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good chance. Okay. Good oh, chance. Why, is it a good, why is it a good chance? I don't know. Everybody yeah. hates me, so, you know, it Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm making you feel bad right before the game. <laughs> Wonderful. It's a psychological <laughs> strategy. I told Amy I've never done this before. I've never done a debate before, so I hope this goes well. <laughs> All right, I'm going to meet you guys real quick. I will be... I hope the odds are forever, forever in both of your favors. Mute both of you guys real quick. I will do the intro and everything, and then we'll be right on air. All right, I hope you guys can... You guys cannot hear me now. Hold on. Hold on. Now you guys can hear me. Welcome back to the Joseph Alexander Simpson YouTube channel. Today we are doing, finally, after a long delay, uh, we are doing a debate. Um, I'm not very good at these, and things are going to probably suck with this. Um, during the break, uh, while we were waiting uh, for Drake to get back, uh, we had a guest on here um, who was filling time for me, uh, and now our actual special guest uh, could not make it. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, our special guest for today is Amy. That's me. There you go. Now you can talk. Why the? Why do you have me muted? What the heck? Hey, hey, y'all. It's me. You, at you at Amy Flower on YouTube at Ames Ain't Real on Twitter. How are we going? I don't, know if your, I don't know if your account's gonna handle all of the followers you're gonna get from that shout out. That's gonna I think it's gonna shut down the Twitter servers. Yeah, all three. All I'm three ready for it. Watching. Actually we currently have twelve people watching. Um if that count is right, it's on the YouTube dashboard. Um and no. now two hours long. The uh you guys have Amy as your special uh, moderator. Did you also get the document that has like the format and everything on it? Me? Yeah. Did I? He just said you. <laughs> that was lovely. And then, yeah, it, obviously you guys have me here uh, debating. I will be debating pro AI uh, and Drake. Drake will be here debating against AI. And I want to specify. Okay, Luna. I want to specify that this is the usage of AI in like a conceptual refinement method. This is not like the usage of it to replace humans or anything like that. Um, so, uh, yeah. Are you guys ready? Okay. Are you guys ready to do this? Sure. So, this is the first time I've brought guests on. Xander has sent me yeah. a presentation with words that I guess he's, he's forcing me to um read or else i won't so, see my so, family so can i just ask hang on no no, no first like is it okay if i ask a question yeah go ahead so you say in the use using ai like incorporating it into your work without it replacing people that's what you're saying yeah no 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 we can't do the debate yet we have to wait till we do the pro no, you do that during the debate! No, he wanted to specify because I specified at the top of the show this is the usage of AI in like refining things and basically using it as like a, a way to refine things. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you're saying you don't want to use it as a way to replace humans. Is that, is not, that like, not completely... an incorporation of, re of replacing humans? To refine the idea? It would, to say that, like, replacing humans, that was a very broad way to describe that. Um, I mean, yeah, you are kind of, in a way, replacing human work. Um, but you're using it in a collaborative way uh, to refine things. Less right. of Yeah, I think... Okay. Point. So... Before, before we get into the debate, I have to read this introduction. Welcome to the debate of the use, on the usage of AI in conceptual refinement through tool-assisted modification. I will be your moderator for the evening, Logan Hodges. We have five different rounds of the debate with five minutes in between. Any segment within... Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For everybody that doesn't know, Logan Hodges is going to be the guest. Um, I didn't want to, like, call him out, um, but I guess now you kind of did. Uh, I did forget that was still on there. Xander, um, Xander, continue. Xander. Sorry. You can't talk because we have five different rounds of the bait with five minutes in between. Any segment with an odd number or runtime or of runtime minutes will be split at my discretion, being sure to alternate the advantage back and forth. In the first round, both sides will present an opening argument, giving their side of the argument of the usage of AI in conceptual refinement through tool-assisted modification. In the second round, each side will rebut the opponent's arguments and further emphasize the benefits of dis or disadvantages of AI in conceptual refinement through tool-assisted modification. Third, both sides have the opportunity to ask each other questions to clarify arguments or challenge opposing views. In the fourth round, I will open the floor for questions from the audience, allowing them to inquire about any aspect of the debate to both sides. If there are no questions from the floor, likely because Xander only has like five subs, we will continue forward. I didn't say that. Xander wrote that. <laughs> I did not say that. 
Lastly, before the audience votes, each side will summarize their key arguments supporting the use of AI in concept refinement and reiteration why it is and reiterate why it is beneficial. Let's begin. We will begin with the opening statements. Xander has the floor for the first eight minutes. I can't hear people in the call. You do, you do have a time already, right? Yeah, hold on. I'll, I'm going to set it up right now. <laughs> and that time starts now. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Thank you, Drake. Thank you, uh, our lovely uh, moderator uh, being um, Logan Hodges. Um, <laughs> so today I will be our advocating for the integration of AI as a tool for conceptual refinement, which is, as I put uh, clearly earlier, it's, it's a way to like not replace the actual human ingenuity of prompts. Um, like You're basically just giving it, hey, here's my data, or here is my uh, points that I'm trying to get across. Can you summarize them for me? Can you analyze this data? So on and so forth. Um, AI is artificial intelligence. For those that don't know, it encompasses machine learning, deep learning, and a bunch of other computational techniques. Math, essentially. Um, in the current landscape of the world, uh, it is very beneficial to use the tools that are in front of us because our competitors, in the terms of, let's say, in business and content creation, are going to use them. It's inevitable. And there are going to be people who are going to use them for bad reasons. And it is important for us to make sure we are using them and we can use them for good reasons um, to compete with people who are using them for bad reasons. Um, and in the last few years, we've seen things like video of Will Smith eating spaghetti. Um, <laughs> We've seen that turned in, we, we saw that uh, in a very early phase of video, using video. And recently in the past couple days, uh, two nights ago, we shared it on the stream. Um, Sora, uh, GP, OpenAI's Sora was introduced and it can do amazing things. We've seen dogs on the side of a mountain with podcast microphones. And the most important thing about this AI is that it can process vast amounts of data quickly and accurately expediting the process that we would be doing as a human it is saving us time um ai has been proven to analyze extensive data sets in minutes uh it might take us hours to do this and it can do it in minutes um ai excels at identifying patterns uh uncovering hidden insights within that data um for example, AI can detect uh, correlations and trends that we may not notice as humans, uh, leading to a deeper understanding of that data. Um, AI can serve as a collaborative partner, augmenting our human creativity and intuition. Uh, we provide the creative spark. AI provides analytical support, uh, resulting in a partnership outcome. Um, AI has been used in fields like healthcare, finance, and scientific research. The National Center for Biotechnology Information says that artificial intelligence integrated uh, drug discovery and development has accelerated the growth of the pharmaceutical sector, something they would not have been able to do with just humans. Um, or it would have taken a long time to do. I wouldn't say they wouldn't be able to do them uh, with humans. There's obviously a bunch of bias and error in AI, and I like to compare it to like the news. Uh, we know that the news can be very extremely biased, um, but there's also tons, tons of different sources out there. You can use you various me, right? AI tools. Um, a lot of them are free, okay. so you know you're not paying for much. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. Put fucking seven minutes for Drake, and then eight minutes for himself. I'm giving Drake seven. I mean eight, sorry. Um, such as generating harmful content. Um, you can't do that with um, OpenAI software and a lot of other software, what too. A cheeky boy. Um, I know OpenAI is the most popular with ChatGPT, Sora, um, and they also have a image one as well. Um, human and AI can go hand in hand. Um, 
AI is not there to completely replace our brains. It's just going to make our brains have to work less hard. Um, transparency in AI is important. Um, and there definitely needs to be accountability mechanisms in place, some of which are there, some of which aren't. AI offers efficiency, insight, and it provides a collaborative uh, potential. Um, AI can advance knowledge and understanding. AI is going to get better. Um, and I think that is where I end my point. I yield my time, moderator. Okay, you, you yielded with uh, two minutes and 54 seconds on the clock. Awesome. So, uh, now that your eight minutes are up, Drake, you have eight minutes on the floor as well. And it's start, wait, hold on. And it's, I have to do this officially, hold on, hold on. It's part of the thing. And it starts now. Okay, so you say that you want to advocate for AI as a tool for conceptual refinement and saying that, oh, humans will create the prompt, but AI will finish the rest. Previously, you would use humans for every stage, for every stage of this. You say that you're advocating for not replacing humans and creativity when if you're using that to supplement the creative process, What's the point? What's the point in having a channel called Joseph Alexander Simpson if the content isn't wholly produced by Joseph Alexander Simpson? If you were, like, one of the examples, and outside of the debate, the debate, so I apologize, one of the examples you used as a use that you use AI for is rewriting documents to have, like, a more formal um, cadence to them, etc. When, like, if you were asking AI, to rewrite the document for you, and you are just repeating that uncritically, that is the AI replacing the human in that um, equation. Furthermore, it, it seems telling that you acknowledge that you, competitors or whatever, other people are going to, other um, creative companies are going to use AI to supplement content creation for bad measures, but you seem to think that your incorporation in an identical way is is not bad. I'm not sure that I understand that. You bring up how good it is at analyzing patterns, like its analytical qualities, when I, I find that antithetical to creativity. We're, t we're talking about AI and creativity in creative medium. If you're using that to replace the humans that would previously problem solve that, then it would cause issues. But you also talk about its other uses, like in um, the law. Uh, there was a there's a Forbes article from last year. Lawyer uses ChatGPT in federal court, and it goes horribly wrong. In which ChatGPT simply invented fictional court cases to back up its case, and then a lawyer uncritically, instead of hiring a human to do it, uncritically repeated those um, um, cases and damage the case and using it and thinking of like a similar issue happening in like a medical field would be disastrous and you say that yeah it's gonna get better whatever if we can bring it back a little bit the point of creativity the point of art what i find interesting that about this debate it's created by a human is that uh if neither I of these people have a lot of experience in debate Simpson, like polly i know he's trying to do his uh Christian, or is, is anti-Christian, like anti-religion debate show. But Xander's never done anything like this. And other, and other than that, Polly hasn't done anything either, so. And this is the first time I'm moderating it, rating the debate. I mean, I watch, I used to watch a lot of debates, but I'm moderating it now. And that, I've never done that before. So I'm excited. ...the content that's being created. And so I guess I don't see the value in it. Because AI, thus far, is only capable of producing mediocre, incorrect content. People use it uncritically for things like college papers and essays and such, where it just produces straight-up false facts because it doesn't know the difference. Because, frankly, you can't analyze data. I didn't know that I was going to be moderating this debate, but, like, the moderator that was supposed to be here fucking i guess bailed or, or got busy with something <laughs> it was last minute like i'm as prepared as the other moderator would have been example of this on the uh channel federator channel channel federator channel 
um, where they made a video about South Park where someone had used AI to generate all their facts for that video. And something like half the facts for it were incorrect. There's no veracity in the content that AI produces, and obviously, you know, human error and such, etc. But intrinsically, the value of artistic expression is defined by the humans that create it, not the refinement the of, of AI. I don't think that it's relevant in the equation. I yield my time. Sorry, <laughs> you you had you had three minutes left. Are you sure that's all you wanted to say? Sure. Fair enough. Now the next round is rebuttals. Um, Xander, you have eight minutes to rebut. Starting, hold on, starting now. Okay, I had to get this on the right camera. Nope, that's not the right one. <laughs> Yeah, I think absolutely there are definitely cases in the medical field, uh, such as uh, Drake mentioned, um, where, yeah, it's not, it hasn't been perfect. There's always human input before and after the fact, um, such as I had mentioned that uh, National Center for Biotechnology Information, it has worked in that case. Um, that's not something where it has failed and i know the exact uh, the case that you're mentioning um for the uh use the lawyer who used it yeah there's absolutely no way that you can use it in that case you're providing this ai all the information in a uh in a re and a reconfining concepts you are using you are you're giving it the data you're not it's analyzing the data you're giving it. And yes, like you said, there is a huge, huge room uh, for misuse of AI, even if I was using it and my competitors were using it, I thought I was using it for good. There is. And unfortunately, I wish there was a way that we could tell exactly how somebody in a creator aspect was using it. Um, and I think there are there is room for that, actually, for like considerations in, in law like just like we have for brand deals if somebody is doing a brand deal they can't like secretly do a brand deal um there should definitely be something where we have to disclose what we are doing with the ai and in, in content um as far as creativity goes like i said you're you're adjusting it after the fact so it can still be in your tone of voice there's definitely room for for that and i know i said reconfining i think the word that we used um i believe was uh concept yeah refining conceptual refinement um and i don't think i think that we have room for we have creative liberties we can take it's just analyzing the data that it's giving us if the lawyer would have given it data that was relevant to the case it could have analyzed how that related to the case it could have came up with an argument um, not that the lawyer shouldn't have come up with his own argument, even if he wanted to throw the argument in chat GPT and say, hey, uh, reword this to make it sound, uh, to change the perspective to sound, you know, this way or that way. Um, yeah, you're reanalyzing the data. You're not jumping in and saying, hey, make up a bunch of stuff because you're giving it data. That's that's part of that's part of the argument for conceptual refinement you're giving it everything that it's using and i yield my time uh, y'all are yielding your time you had five minutes man you really had nothing else to say anyway um and that gives uh drake dragsaw in eight minutes to re to rebute what xander has said go ahead now now Okay. So the reason why I mentioned the medical field is because you mentioned it as a positive use of it. Like, obviously, you talk about um, being able to refine the details afterwards and use your own liberties. But what obligates people to do that? What obligates Universal Studios from just churning out some terrible script and having nobody check it, less people to pay? You say that you don't want to... Incor I mean, you've said time and time again that you don't want to in incorporate it in ways that are replacing humans, but you talk about ways 
of incorporating it that replace humans. Like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, like, if this isn't very responsive, but a lot of what you said doesn't really rebuke the points that I make. People watch, um, to pull it back a little bit, people watch creative works because they're created by people. Like, uh, you said that people should disclaim when they create AR, at, uh, when they create things with AI. At the moment, that's not being done, but you're still doing it anyways. And I know that you disclaim under your videos that you use AI in your videos, and that's more than a lot of other people do. But even then, your disclaimer doesn't um, explain how you incorporated it. I believe you put it in your uh, your states video, where it cr where it created questions for uh, trivia about the states. But even during that video, it created questions that were self contradictory and incorrect. But you didn't you didn't disclose how that was incorporated in the first place. I didn't know if it was your script or if it was the questions or if it was the graphics being shown. I know that there's AI, AI art used in the uh, the 365 logo. You didn't disclose that. So, like, it feels like you're contradicting your own point here. To pull it back, and, like, you haven't been able to rebut this. Creative art is created by humans. Like, you talk about the analytical aspects of it, and the analytical data, and the ability for humans to go back and refine it afterwards and whatever, but there's nothing that obligates them to do that. And I think people are going to use AI content generation tools as a scapegoat to just create low quality art because, you know, who's going to care? Who's going to tell the difference? The, uh, studios aren't going to think that. And, you know, I think that you don't think people are going to pick up on that. <sighs> I mean, I don't, I don't agree with the incorporation of AI art, of not, I keep saying AI art, like, um, phatically, but I just mean, like, AI content generation being used in ways, in, in ways to replace human creativity. I would be okay with, um, incorporating it to automate certain tedious parts of creativity, as in, like, cutting people out of photos, or... Editing or, or putting like captions on a video and then having someone go in and fix it. But something like cre like changing the tone of a script to match this tone or that tone, I feel like that's too, f that's too brazen of a replacement. I feel like any sort of aspect of a, of a creative work is part of its humanity. And if you're replacing it with inhumane parts, even if someone's glazing it afterwards, I find that because I, I just find that that art generally tends to be low quality and I think that it's I, I think it's poor practice I yield my time okay uh, that's that is the end of your time four minutes left you guys aren't talking too far outside of your comfort zone well I don't have that much to really refute here because like i've made I've, i feel like i've made some salient points and i mm -hmm. and like he hasn't quite responded to a lot of them i feel like this debate is fucking boring and we need to make it interesting and we need everyone to get out of their comfort zone so for the next 10 minutes sound good For the next 10 minutes, I want there to be an absolutely open dialogue. You just talk to each other. If it gets too crazy, then I'll stop it. But yeah, go ahead. Okay. Xander, you're, not, you're muted, buddy. <laughs> I unmuted the wrong video. Okay, there we go. No, I think that there is value in human creation. In, like you said, tedious tasks are the ones that I'm mentioning. This this is what I am talking about. Rewriting talking a script about I don't think is, is, is a... I mean, a tedious task isn't one that doesn't incorporate the creativity of the project. Rewriting the script is integral to the... Like, if, if it's for a video, it's integral to the video. Did I... Did I... Did I mention editing scripts, Amy, at all? Um... 
I don't know if you did. <laughs> Can somebody fact check that? Because I don't think I've ever mentioned. I mean, you mentioned, you mentioned it outside in a message here where you said uh, changing. You, I mean, you said it during this changing the tone of a script, right? I've never once been for changing the tone of a Rewrite script. a document to fit the tone it needs to fit better, the exact words you said, dude. Do you not stand in by terms, that? In terms of, like, business documents, sure. And that's exactly what I was referring to in that message. I do not think that you should change the tone of a script. Your voice needs to come out in a script. I agree with that. And I, I don't... I think that was... Never once a point that I have made that scripts should be edited by AI. Um, I, I I might have confabulated you saying rewrite rewrite a document with rewriting a script because it was in the context of videos. You're still and in this you obviously. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm reading through some of the points that you made. I took some notes. Hold on. I, I want to give you props for mentioning that I have not expressed how I have used, uh, exactly used AI in my content. Um, yes, there are four really small pieces of AI generated art in the uh, 52, or in the uh, 365 logo. Yes, you are right Wrong about that. Wrong time series. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wrong time series. Um, yeah, and there's definitely room to talk about the lack of lack of depth uh with creative content it's and the quality of the content's not inferior but it's more it is it's more it's more dependent on what it's being trained on and that's why giving it that data giving it whatever you're using in that video you are giving it the data that it is using to train itself off of you you're not asking for new things i'm trying to understand why you think that you're basically saying it's bad because it's making up bad con it's making bad content you're giving it the content so if your content is bad because you're using ai you have bad content i agree with that i'm not using ai content only one of us in this call is that's not what i said i said if you're if your content is bad while using ai then your content is bad like i agree with that you simply cannot replace the human mind you can't say yes, yes. i want to utterly remove all of myself from this you're still giving it the video you're still giving it every bit of data that it's going to use Everything that you're putting into the system, it is using that. It's not making up new content. So if that data is bad, if you have tested making something, then you're asking it for new content. And that's not what this debate's about. This debate is about content that you've come up with that you're refining. So therefore, if th that data, if your results are utterly awful, then... What you're giving it is awful. I agree. If you shit in my mouth and I eat it, I'm not going to think. I, I'm not going to magically be able to turn it into something wonderful. And I feel like that is the, that's, that's the case here. You know, I can't digest it and turn it into pumpkin pie. So true. So true, Xander. My point is that even, first of all, if, okay, if you had some AI, right, and you were just giving it, like, perfect content, I'm not convinced that the content it would confab that it would create would be as good or even better, or even on, like, even on par to the content you fed into it originally. I, I don't subscribe that the, the refinement, you say, the refinement of the ideas improves them necessarily. Could you like? Could we could we talk specifics? Like, is there an example you want to talk about? I mean, no, nothing off of the top of my head. Because if, uh. like I said, if you shit my mouth, it's not gonna be pumpkin pie. And I, I, I you just you rebutted that. So, what I think about that point, 
is why not? That that's my question here is why not? Why would that content not be as good? Because it's only using the data that you've given it. Because it's just analyzing the data clinically. It's not created. People watch art. People watch creative work because it's fully sculpted and created by human or a human or humans that have a, like a, a, an understanding to it. And it's like AI. It doesn't have an understanding to it. It processes the data and and um, conforms it to something that's. Different There's still human person. expression. There's still human expression because you're taking what it's giving you and you're still making something off of that. There's still human expression. A human is still making it. There's, It's a three-step process. It's You have an idea, you put it through AI, and then you take that and you turn it into content. You can't just... And I'm saying idea loosely. I mean, you're not going to be like, hey, give... As long as you're giving it content. There's no way there, there's nothing that makes it more ingenuine than if let's say i had writers and they were writing videos i'm still being part of that process i'm that. still writing with them so how is that any different from ai that's what still human method expression. which method would guarantee humanity in the art that's created if you have art that's created 100% by humans and art that's created 99% by humans and 1% uh, generated through AI and processed through AI, which one is more sincerely human created? If any aspect I don't think of it, that makes it... I don't think that makes, makes it less humane. Yes, you're still using the AI, but... That doesn't make it less humane because through every step, there's the humans still involved. They're still expressing themselves. Are they not expressing themselves wholly because everything that is within that creative product is created and processed and generated by them compared to it being uh, processed through some sheen of AI before and after? I like. I'm not saying that it's completely devoid of you know, creative worth, whatever, or completely devoid of humanity. Or, but if you were using it at any stage, then less of it is being created with humans. And so by, like, mathematically, it's not as genuine. But it is. It, it, it is just as equally genuinely human. Well, I disagree. Because no, at no step is any of your output from a computer. I know that it's not from a computer, but it is taking that data and reglazing it and contextualizing it with other data that it has access to. Like, if you're using ChatGPT, it uses an archived version of the internet, you know, prior 2021. So it will try and combine that and confabulate that with all the other internet, with all the other work on the internet. A lot of it is... Uh, infringed um, to create the art because you mentioned chat GPT specifically yeah and I, I definitely because that's probably one of the most used um, and well known I don't think I, I think you're wrong about that I, if you are using your own data it's not gonna confa con confabulate it with anything if you so you're talking about using AI exclusively with your own other data? Yeah, you're not you're not you're not putting you're not asking it to create anything. You're just asking it Why would you not to use the data that you're using? If you're only going to use it with your own data to begin with, why would you not just like if you're trying to come up with an you're idea You're getting for rid a of tedious tasks. No, you don't want to ask GPT for a idea for a video. I agree. That's not that's not what this is. You're asking it, hey, take this bit of, of information that I'm giving you and do this thing with it. Do this tedious task with it. Like you mentioned earlier. Do this tedious task with it. That's what you're asking it to do. You're not asking it to make up new things. When I said 
uh, a tedious task. I meant one that did not incorporate creative aspects or elements into it. But like, you're not. You're not. The the scripts, the document is is a creative aspect of the video. But you're not doing anything with scripts. I'm not. <laughs> Xander, it's okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm at Congress right now. Um, no. Are you affiliated with the CCP? Not... Yeah, I feel like you're gonna ask me if if if, if I'm Chinese a million times. That's not how this works. You, you, you mentioned Ch Chat GPT. You mentioned no, um, but you're OpenA. bringing up. You're, op you're bringing up remaking I, you scripts, and that has never been a point that I have made. That is not something I'm arguing for. I am arguing for you literally using, putting your own data through it, asking it to data? do tedious, asking it to do tedious tasks with your data. Like what? Maybe you say, "Hey, here's my video. What are some keywords on this?" You can just use Control F. But, like, sure. Control F but... is not going to give you... Control F is if you're doing the opposite thing. If you're trying to find out how many times a word was used, but you don't know what those words are. So, first of all, you're you're analyzing for that. I'm going to take something that I had, for example. I had this schedule that had all of my days out of the year, the videos that I'm putting out. And... There were dates that were missing from it because I had deleted a few, and I was able to just take and copy and paste that data over. I didn't have to look through each individual piece and find the dates that were okay. missing. I that could just sense. throw it in the system. You asked for a specific example, so I'm giving you a specific example. Can mm -hmm. I ask how you used it in your States video? Uh, the States video was basically I put in the, um, the clue for the – I had it put in a text file with the clues. Uh, that somebody sent me. Everything was blacked out, obviously, so I couldn't see it. I it got put in a text file. I submitted that text file to ChatGPT, and it rewrote my statements so it didn't sound like the person who wrote it for me wrote it for me. It put it in my. Um, I gave it a set of data of my own, um, and it put it into that that phrasing. I want this to be this state does this, whatnot. And this is the statement that I want. This is how I want the statements to be worded. I'm okay with it analyzing the data like that. And But that's people, that's what we're talking about. That's what this what, debate is. I wasn't I wasn't finished. I was say, I'm saying what I agree with it and what I disagree with that. Because that's not I, I don't holistically agree with that. To re to you you say in that you use it to rewrite the statements to sound like you. And I guess you did in this specific scenario so that way there was an actual game to it. But why didn't you have someone else do it? Someone else already wrote the prompts. Um, but after doing two or three test rounds, I noticed that they were not on par with the... The, they, the statements were not worded in a similar way. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask something, and I'm not saying that you said this on this conversation here. Um, you said this okay. in a text here on Friday. I want to clarify that replacing humans at all is bad. I mean, you, we are replacing some human tasks here, but you say you don't want to use it for any sort of creative aspect for it, just for tedious ones. I use it if I'm stumped on an idea. So what, what qualifies being stumped on an idea, and what? What could you give me an example specifically of an, of of a time you use that? Yeah, for example, I said I have a bunch. Let's say, for example, I have a bunch of facts about a state, about a bunch of states. Um, here are some of the videos I've done in the past using my data, uh, the formats of my shows. How can I integrate this into one of my formats? Why couldn't you just? come up with the idea organically would it not have a more personal connection to you if you arrived to that idea organically instead of uncritically taking the idea at face value 
It absolutely would, but I wanted to see without trying to format every one of my shows with, again, I'm using the states as an example because you brought it up. Mm -hmm. um, but let's say I, I had a bunch of states facts and I have tons of different formats that I've been using. Tons of different formats that I have in the bank. I know you've not directly associated with my channel now, but utilizing some of the things that you've seen, because uh, I know you've seen some more of the behind the scenes of my channel. Um, I have tons of formats. And if I went through and figured out how they would fit into each one, it would take way too long. It's a tedious task. I just, I just don't agree with that. Um, I just don't agree with that use of it. And like, okay. I, I don't, th I don't think we're gonna get past uh, that. I'm afraid. So, I mean, that's not. And I, I want to specify this. That's not repl because you've used. Well, this is replacing a human. I am one person operating this whole channel. I am not getting rid of the labor that an extra person would be doing. You are supplementing it with labor that another human would be doing it if this were not an option. No, if this were not an option, I would be doing it. Yes. I would be spending more time on tedious tasks. You have pointed out several times that you're okay in the use of tedious tasks, but that's what I'm using them for. I don't think things like rephrasing this, like how questions are stated or how a script is stated or a document is stated is is tedious to, to the creative process if it's the words that you're saying on screen. It's the words you're saying in the but video. But it's never the words that... It's a prompt that you're being asked. It's not a script, per se. Okay. So you, you say... You say you you uh why do you use it in the the 365 logo there was a very small portion of the 365 logo it's the focal point oh, open image Sorry, I just have to scroll through your four minutes of credits to find one. <laughs> How's 52 weeks going, by the way? Is it going like how you planned from the start, episode one? I'm going to save that for the podcast episode where I talk about it. Okay. that will come out about it I, i'm just curious yes or no like is it coming out like is this the series arc is it like where you this is where you expected it to be from day one march 9th 2023 i'm just curious because we have to kill some time here if you guys are finished talking you can move on <laughs> I'm not. I'm not finished talking. He's just pulling up the image for me, and so we can talk about this more. Fair enough. I'm just I mean, like I'm looking I'm at it on my screen here. I don't know how how unorganized this company file. I got it. I got it here can't too. Can't find the logo to the main series on his YouTube channel. I got it here on my screen, so people watching through my stream know what it is. But yeah, the ten minutes stopped like ten minutes ago. I just I just liked hearing you guys no, go on. I like the free form. I have a screenshot of it. Like, we just. There's no way I can put it on my screen, I think. It's up on the screen. I actually pulled out the 366 variant. Hold on. Whoa. Because you were specifically asking for the 365. Hold on. There you go. Oh my god. Whoa. That was Why scary don't you for have the second. one with the quote at the bottom? The one with the quote at the bottom? The cost of liberty is less than the price of repression with no, with no beginning quote on it. This is just the one that I pulled. This is the one okay. that was actually on this computer that I'm using to broadcast. Okay, so what I'm talking about is that the center focal part point of the logo uses AI-generated imagery. And even if, like, you're saying it's a small, insignificant portion of it, even if it is, that's replacing part of it 
that would be ordinarily um, created with humans. That's a replacement. But that's not what this debate was on. This debate was on using it. This debate was on using data. Okay. You you said that you don't want to use it to replace humans, but this is a replacement of human effort. Listen. I'm not, like, trying to, like, expose you as some, like... I was pretty mad about my tweet, and I've retracted for it, and I'll apologize here that it was very... It was very, um, inflammatory. It was funny hearing you try to pronounce, uh, megalomaniacal, but I, I, I agree that... I, to I agree to that be fair, was I was... To be fair, I was reading it from, like, a really far distance, so I couldn't read what the word was. Oh. Um, well, did you get I mean, no, to you're... The script for that, or... <clears throat> Okay, funny. Funny. <laughs> That's absolutely hilarious. Um, I thank you for your apology. Uh, I don't retract what I said. Okay. Um, That's fine. I, I wasn't expecting you to. I just want to go on the record and say I, I absolutely still agree with my opinions on being hypocritical. So can we move on with the debate? I'm sh sure. I was just... I guess I just wanted to talk about that. But what, what was I going with this? It's just... You, where this all started is that you said that you want to clarify that replacing humans at all is bad. When are, are you saying is, is is your opinion here different? You're... I'm not getting. I I already clarified that you're not replacing a human that would be here. Do you mean that literally? Like you're, you're not literally, literally replacing a... a human because the difference would because at that rate anything can, can replace a human. And I don't agree with that. I don't agree well, with that incorporation. And then okay if we maybe we shouldn't be on a live stream because we're replacing that. Maybe we shouldn't be uh, in. Maybe we sh maybe we shouldn't be using technology because that's replacing humans. You're totally a lot of times. totally no, no. Come on, a lot of the like, technology that we use on a daily basis uses artificial intelligence. You said you want to and clarify replaces that replacing humans. humans at all is it replaces bad. humans. So that's I guess the, that they are said. bad. I guess that they are bad. I guess every this is little relevant to what I've said. I guess text prediction totally on relevant. phones, that is replacing a human. That's not what I said. I love this job. We're replacing a human by using text prediction. We're talking about AI. That is you, AI. You talked about That it. is okay. AI. Oh, well, you That is artificial there. intelligence. You know what we're talking We're talking about chat GPT. No, we're talking AI. about all sorts of AI. What makes that any different? Because that was the context. If I'm under typing which this a document on Google Docs and I'm typing in a word, it's predicting my it predicts my next word. How is how is that any different? Because it, you're totally taking. It's my, not. Like, they're not different. Yeah, you asked me you a were question. taking it in an entirely different. You were taking it in an entirely different direction. I wasn't. Totally wasn't. Yes, you were. You you you've shifted the goalposts on what you're saying so many times here. It's like. I revert back to my comments two weeks, uh, two days ago about being hypocritical because that's exactly what you were doing. Was I using AI? What did I do that was being hypocritical? Where, no, where you just I said I'm said... moving the fucking goalpost, and you were moving the fucking goalpost. What are you doing? Supplement creative process, and I think he's probably reconsidering it, but I don't think he wants to admit that. So he's just kind of tried to, in real time, change his argument. And change what he was stating, because like I have it, I have written in text what he meant, not to replace humans. He used he used it to replace yeah. the job of humans, so that's a contradiction. Wait, is Jamie still here? Yeah, where's she? Where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go? You want to come say hi to the? You want to come say hi to the live stream? Yeah, I can come say hi to the live stream. If we have a woman, if we have a cis woman on the live stream, then we'll cis. boost the ratings. Cis. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I like cis passing. I hate. I if just, we have a, I'm um, cis passing. 
If we have a feminine presenting person on stream, well, that will increase the views. You got beef. Yeah, but I, I wanted to, have, I wanted to ask him when my untimely 